closely. Here's a little lesson in trickery. This is going down in history. If you want to be a villain number one, you have to chase a superhero on the run. Just call the boots and sneak around. Be careful not to make a sound. Shh, no, don't touch that. We are number one. Look at this net that I just found. When I say go, be ready to throw. Go! <laughs> throw it on him, not me! Oh, let's try something else. Now watch and learn. Here's the deal. You slip and slide on this banana peel. We can win the biggest prize. You just have to go, like, we'll come out and we'll take it. She's like, porcelain, pajamas. She's got the porcelain, pajamas. So you have to, but we're going to have to be dancing when we're doing this, dude. So remember okay. that, because they vote on that, too. Okay, try again. Oh, dude, we got we, six. No, seven, we've got to go, dude. Porcelain, pajamas. <laughs> okay. It's him. It's the boy. Hello. <clears throat> Just to make sure you can hear me, right? <clears throat> I don't want this to be another fucking fiasco like... Two... Two weeks ago? God, was it already two weeks ago? Or was it... Chungungo, yeah, it's me. I'm not a pumpkin anymore. It's not the season of the spooks. It's the season. It's our one and only Sundere Raging Otter Chandler. <laughs> Troc, for short. Can hear your beautiful voice. Oh, bless. Okay, so. I'm half cheating with this. Oh, okay. It's, I put the cartridge in not that long ago. I didn't think there would be an update. So I guess we'll just listen to some more Siva Gunner rips. Oh my god. Rez, no. Fucking no. Absolutely terrible. 
But that took like no time at all. Hold on. So yeah, uh, Shungungo has improvements. He blink now. Yeah, he blink. That was like really fucking quick. Okay. Well, I guess we don't get to listen to that. But yeah, I'm like half cheating with Mario 64. Because it's like, uh... Oh, cool. We're vibing with some, um... Some, uh... Sun Mario Sunshine music. He's not on the Vito gang. Yeah, you're damn right I am. Vito, Vito tube is so fucking, like, so nice to use. It's so nice. Well, you know, when it doesn't freeze like that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like half... Okay, how's the, how is the game audio, by the way? I know it's literally just music from it, but like, I just want to make sure that it's all good. Also, I can't tell if it's playing on like double because I have it playing through uh, like the monitors playing out like the capture audio is playing on my end as well look at that Mario going he fucking zooming Okay, so it's just... Is that better? Or does it need to still be louder? Where's Babom Battlefield? Seriously, there's no Babom Battlefield? What the fuck? Oh. Weird. Is it better? Is it still too quiet or is it is a decent volume now? It's good? No, it's not. Like, Nintendo, get your shit straight. This is Babam Battlefield. <laughs> this is the main theme. Ask it, you shall receive. <laughs> Get some jams. Get some jams going. Yeah, the game audio doesn't come out like double, does it? jams. I can make it work. It's a me. It's a me, Mario. Yahoo. Hello. Oh, how do I? Oh, wait. Am I turn? Can I turn him? Oh, I can. There we go. Hello. Oh yes, the infamous. Mario fuck around screen. Oh, he got cross-eyed. Whoa! Wait, I want that star. He's so small, you can't fucking see him. Wait, huh? Wait, can I grab his, his eye? Can I grab your eye? No, I can't, huh? <laughs> Fucking overbite Mario. Hmm. It's me, Mario. Whoa. Holy shit. This is scary. 
<laughs> Wah! This fucking this is scary shit. Enough of that. So uh, I I may have played a little bit of this a while ago, but I never got far, as you can tell. We're gonna do Mario D because D is a funny letter. Okey -dokey. Peach. Peach. Okay. Do you say Lakitu or Lakitu? Do you say it like... Lakitu? Lakitu or Lakitu? Yahoo Lakitu. Wait, is this like actually letterboxed? Ciao, you've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Use the controller. Use the controller as a piece of cake. Press B to jump and Y to attack. A to read signs too. Uh, L stick to move Mario around. Now head for the castle. Oh, he's so clunky. Also, yeah, it's like, why is it legitimately letterboxed? What the fuck, Nintendo? Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. Is it alt? It's alt, perfect, okay. See, this won't be letterboxed for you guys, but it's gonna be for me, because I'm looking at the raw source output. It's fucking raw! Let's see if I can get this to fit in here. I'm a tired. Lakatui, mm. Lakatui. La <laughs> Me too, Mario. I was doing that earlier. <laughs> I'm a tired. Oh, yeah. we're not talking about me sleeping. Birds. Is it? Is it again? No. I crawl around like a baby. Chandler, there's three ways to say it. Lakatui. There's no e at the end of Lakatu. It's L A K I T U. It's Lakatu, like a cockatoo, like a. Like, or whatever. Lakitu, Lakitu. I've heard it both ways, but I've never heard, like, Lakatui. Lakatui sounds dumb. <laughs> Bitch. Lak, Lakatu. Oh, God damn it. Three, three seconds into the game and I already don't know what I'm fucking doing. We're all weird. Like everybody's, everybody here's weird. Don't feel too bad. How do I read signs again? Oh, it's B, okay. Oh, it's A, excuse me. Tra tap B to do the breaststroke. If you if you time the tap start, you'll swim fast. Press and hold B to do a slow, steady, steady flutter kick. Tilt the L stick around to dive and pull back the stick to head to the surface. Jump out of the water, pull the L stick back. Press B, easy as pie, right? But remember, Mario can't breathe underwater. Return to the surface for air when the power meter runs low. And one last thing, you can't open doors that are underwater. What does that mean? What did you mean they can't open the doors underwater? Good afternoon, the Lakitu brothers. I'm gonna say it both ways just to piss you off. The Lakitu brothers here, reporting live from just outside the princess's castle. Mario's just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. As seasoned cameramen, will be cameramen? 
will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the camera angle with the right stick. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. <coughs> Excuse me. If we can't adjust the view any further, we'll buzz. To take a look at the surroundings, stop and tilt R forward. Press B to resume play. Switch camera angle modes with the R button. Signs along with the along the way will review these instructions. We're now reporting live. This has been the Lockatoo Brothers. Press B to blow. This is not. <coughs> this will not in any way be speedrunning. Welcome. No one's home. Now scram! Don't come back. Gwaha! <gasps> it's Bup! 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 Bowser's a bitch. Bowser's daddy. We don't talk about that. Am I glad to see you? The princess and I, and, well, everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser stole the castle stars, and he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars. As you find them, you can use their power to open the doors that Bowser sealed. There are four rooms on the first floor, starting the one with the painting of Babam inside. It's the only room that Bowser hasn't sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. I know that's not the toad voice, but like... <coughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that. I value my vocal cords, so I'm gonna choose not to say to say shit like Toad. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> thump thump, Chandler, Bowser, you guys okay? Yep, we're good. I have I have peepus. I don't need, I don't need water. What am I? Some kind of fish? I eat fish. <clears throat> I'm so out of shape. Like, I'm so rusty with Toad's voice anyway that I would probably fuck it up anyways. Hello, what's this? What are these? Would you, would you what, would I what Bowser? Would I raw Bowser? Um... <clears throat> It depends on what Bowser we're talking about. We talking about this Bowser? We talk about the King Koopa? We talking about the one from the Mario Brothers Super Show? We talking about Dennis Hopper Koopa? Which one are we talking about here? Return to the castle's main hall anytime from the painting worlds where the enemies live. Just stop, stand still, press... Oh, press plus, then pause the game, and then select uh, exit course. Bowsette? You're damn right. You don't have to collect all power stars in one course before going on to the next. Return later when you're more experienced to pick up difficult ones. When you find a star, whenever you find a star, a hint for finding the next one will appear on the course's start screen. You can, however, collect any of the remaining stars next. You don't have to recover the one described by the hint. Are we talking about, like, Mario 64 Bowser? The one that looks like a fucking wasp stung him? I'll pass on that one. Let's -a go. Let's -a go. Wow, you're smack in the middle of the battlefield. You'll find the power stars that Bowser stole inside the painting worlds. First, talk to the Babam buddy. Press A to talk. He'll certainly help you out, and so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop, face them, and press A. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing A. Hey, buddy. Watch out! If you wander around here, you're liable to be plastered by a water bomb. These enemy bombs love to fight, and they're always finding ways to attack. This meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big bomb got his paws of the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left to the path to find the big bomb. Please come back to see me after you've retrieved the power star. I love the bomb sounds. I love their I love their text sound. It's really cute. I don't know why. The one from Odyssey? You mean like the modern Bowser? Maybe. I feel like if he wasn't evil, he would give massive hugs. 
like <laughs> big hugs big hug bowser hey you it's dangerous ahead so listen up take my advice cross the two bridges ahead then watch for falling water bombs the big ba bomb at the top of the mountain is very powerful don't let him grab you we're ba bomb buddies and we're on your side we could you could talk to us whatever you'd like to you can tell they're buddies because they're red or excuse me pink Hell yeah. Oh god. Look at him going. Got him. Oh shit. Eh. I know there's one for like getting a hundred coins, isn't there? There's a coin star. <laughs> coin star, fuck off! <laughs> oh shit. It's him. It's the choppy boy. I can't get this one yet. 100 coins and collecting the red coins. Yep. So yeah, I've I played Sunshine before. I know the I know the gist of the 3D Mario's. I know that there's like the recurring things. 100 100 coins for a star. Eight red coins in a stage to get a star. No visitors allowed. We by decree of the big ba bomb. I shall never surrender my stars, for they hold the power of the castle in their glow. They were a gift from Bowser, the Koopa King himself, and they lie and they lie well hidden within my realm. Not a whisper of their whereabouts shall leave my lips. All right, perhaps one hint. Head heed the star names at the beginning of the course. I don't know what that means. Yeah, collect coins to heal. Yep. There aren't blue coins in this, are there? I think that's like a Mario Sunshine thing only. Oh shit. Well, at least I didn't go too far. Yeah, I feel like I'm half cheating with this though, because it's like, it's not actually Mario 64. I mean, it is, but like... It's the the 3D All-Stars Mario 64. I don't know if I should be angry at the fact that it's not, like, widescreen, but I mean, I don't think I really give a shit. Just don't get flattened. Oh, it's a checkpoint. I've climbed the top of the mountain, and I'm here to uh, dethrone the king. I'm the Big Babom, Lord of all blasting matter, king of king of kabooms, and the world over. How dare you scale my mountain? By what right do you set foot on my imperial mountain top? I'm here to kick your ass. You may have eluded my guards, but you'll never escape my grasp. And you'll never take away my power star. I hereby challenge you, Mario. If you want the star I hold, you must prove yourself in battle. Can you pick me up from the back and hurl me to this royal turf? I think that you cannot. Don't touch me. Stranger danger. Don't touch me. Oh no, don't. Do it, don't do that. Oh no, such a tough boss fight. Time to throw you around like a damn football. <laughs> you must fight with honor. It is against the royal rules to throw the king out of the ring. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry. I didn't realize I was supposed to just throw you in the ring. I thought I was supposed to throw you out of the ring. Like the Salong Gay Bowser. Oh, oh, my back. Oh, fuck. Oh. Actually, that felt pretty good. Can you do that again? 
Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, my ass. No, 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 please. Danke, thank you. I need an anvil. Or an anvil, not an anvil. What? Could it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bomb king? You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here is your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. Oh shit, he ki he fucking killed himself. Yeah, for the king of the bombs, he doesn't seem to be using any. Here we go. You killed me. Good. Save and continue. You've recovered one of the stolen power stars. Now can you now you can open some of the sealed doors in the castle. Mission complete! Dankeschön. Try the princess's room on the second floor with the room... And the room with the painting of Womp's fortress on floor one. Bowser's troops are still gaining power, so you can't give up. Save us, Mario. Keep searching for stars. <clears throat> <clears throat> I really want to give it a shot just once. Save us, Mario! Yeah. Yeah. I know it's supposed to be higher, but like, fuck off. Toad voice is hard, okay? I can't do a BLJ. Not that I would know how to. <laughs> Thank you, Jojo. Pets for Chungungo. <laughs> BLJ! <laughs> Backwards long jump. Reacting to the star power, the door slowly opens. <laughs> Forgot that. Let's -a go. Chip off Whomp's Whomp. Whomp's block. Let's -a go. Hello, the Lakidu brothers cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique from sneaking up on his enemies. The trick is this. He has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. And wrapping up filming techniques reported on earlier, you can take a look around by tilting the right stick. Hold right. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. We can't, when you can't move the camera any further, I know. I thought you said BJ was concerned. Don't wake the baby. BLJ. So how's everyone's days been? Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? I love the sounds. It's good sounds. I killed him. He was just sleeping. Oh, there is blue. There are blue coins, but not blue coins in the way that I'm used to. That works though. Day's been good. It's been good. Uh. Look at these dot. Look at these dudes. Make the sound. Urgh. I'm so used to hearing that with vine sauce. Urgh. Battle Lancer. Battle Lance Juggernaut. Oh shit. Ah! 
Maybe I'll later I play with the BF and even later later I might stream. Who knows? What you gonna play? Wait, can I I wanna crawl. I'm a crawl like a baby. Google Gaga Mario baby. Don't wake at the baby. Oh, oh shit. Haha, <laughs> 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 it sounds like a fart. I did a really big stupid while I was, like, marking dates off my calendar. My physical calendar. Because I, I am big brain. I think we've established that Chungungo has big brain. Yeah, that's a long-ass drive from North Carolina to Florida. That's a long fucking drive. Jesus Christ. God damn it. I missed it again. Yeah, I did a big brain thing. Um, as I was marking dates off my calendar, I thought we were further into November than we actually are. So I wound up marking off until next Thursday. Not realizing that it's literally only the fucking fifth. Because I'm the big brain. Oh, God damn it. Mario, why are you so clunky? Final Fantasy 14 or Stardew Valley? The free the free game the free the hot free game that anyone can play. Up into and including the fucking the first <laughs> DLC. And I'll stream maybe Lost in Vivo again or Celeste. What you gonna do, bitch? What you gonna do? You can't do shit. Just go back to sleep. Welcome to the 90s game, where gamer when gamers weren't common and the game expects players to be pro in the game. Golly, it's not like I have any experience with that. It's like, hey, why don't we just compare Mario 64 to Crash Bandicoot? Where literally Crash expects you to be a fucking pro at the game to get any kind of completion. That's how we do ground pound. Okay, cool. Oh, he coming. Oh, Lord, he coming. Oh, shit, he coming. Hey, yo, shit ass. Got him. Crashes the Dark Souls of 90s games. Prove me wrong. Listen, uh, I know a certain YouTuber that would take much umbrage to that. Or not umbrage, you just find it fucking hilarious. Oh, it's a big boy. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and you still walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No! Well, you're not gonna wipe our feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try and pound me, wimp. Ha! I'ma crush you. I'ma crush you with my dummy thick ace. Mario so dumb. <laughs> so dumb. Mario so dumb. Where, where am I? I was like, where the fuck did I go? 
the grandpa of Dark Souls. Sad man on bench at all. Oh fuck, no! Oh, okay. That could have gone a lot worse. Oh shit. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse. Almost fucking just massacres enough. Whoa, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't laugh at my failure. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's sitting on Milo. It's apparent, though. Oh, fuck. Whoa, shit. God damn it. This game's so clunky. Like, I'm not gonna shit on Grandpa Game. It's so clunky. Why are you so clunky? Why are you not you refined? Why can't you be like your fucking great grandson, Mario Odyssey? Why have to be so fucking like clunky? God damn it, that was my fault. I'm so bad at Mario. I'm so bad at Mario, you guys. Mario. I literally am fucking up because I keep changing the goddamn camera angle. Ha. Huh. No great, 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 great grandson. Does that mean? <laughs> please, please, I need this. I need to find this like right now. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is really stupid. Oh, fuck off. Come on, hold on. I know that I've got this hiding somewhere. <laughs> oh, sorry. This is really stupid. Trust me, it's not worth the time. This is not worth the time. Trust me, this joke is not going to be worth it. Does that mean that this was after this was Sunshine, and then Galaxy, Galaxy 2, 3D World, 3D Land, and then Odyssey? Does this mean that Mario is... Mario is a... Please, please... Grand Dad! <laughs> Does this make Mario a... Grand Dad! Food. Food's here. Fries. Thank you, baby. Hello, stream. <laughs> I made a granddad joke. Of course you did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that I, like, caught bits and pieces of it and just ignored. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. <laughs> you won't get that tummy. Could you get me a fork? Let's do the fork in the garbage. Mother Mary. <sighs> Questionably. Oh, fucking hell! Huh? They're all dirty. Did they not give us any silverware? Are you serious? No, I don't. Because all the plastic forks have gone to the kitchen. 
Yeah, they're gone. That's why. A fucking hell. Wow, thanks. I don't want to get my fingers dirty because, you know, I'm streaming. I'm putting... That's... No, why? What if I don't want to fucking stab it? Wait. I can just fucking hop on their heads and kill them? Wow, okay, cool. I wasted a block for nothing. Chungungo's greatest challenge, crossing the goddamn bridge. We're not talking about real-world challenges. We're talking about the vid video game challenges. <laughs> oh, it respawns. Cool. That, that's cool. I'm just gonna sidestep. So scary. Oh my god. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Don't stab my titty. <laughs> what? You remember that thing we talked about where it's like if you need to do that, you need to fucking give me a heads up or so it's like literally doing it with no fucking warning whatsoever. It was just like, it was there and needed to be done. I love you. I love you too. I'm a tiger. God damn it. I wanted to poke, I wanted to fork your butt. Please tell me you heard me. I did. I was Bitch. I'm just gonna go back to streaming. I retract my thank you for the food. You're the one that's like, no, fucking suffer. Get your Joy-Cons dirty as shit. Mm. Mm. Sam, you literally caught me as so I was putting chicken in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Chimkin. <laughs> yeah, hey Sammy, what's up? How's your day been? <clears throat> Mario likes suicide. Haha, -ha, I did it. I still fucked up, but I got it. What the fuck just happened there? Oh God. Is it possible for me to get past this fucking hurdle? No. Why are you laughing at me? Mamma mia. Mamma fucker. My Pokemon Super Extra Deluxe Essential Handbook today. Read that one more time. Why is this slope so steep? Also, fuck you, level. I play by my own rules. Fuck you. <clears throat> Your what's it? Your. Pokemon Super Extra Deluxe Essential Handbook! 
came in today. Trademark. <laughs> po- is it Pokemon TM or is it hand like the hand the TM goes at the end of it? Forgot the trademark. What Pokemon? No TM. No trademark. Uh, Brez, I don't really mind. You can call me Chan. Chandler. Chan. Chungungo. I see that sneaky bitch. Oh, fucking hell. Thanks. I love falling. And in between Pokemon. Pokemon TM. Super Extra Deluxe Essential Handbook. Excuse me. God damn it. I stopped too soon. This is literally gonna be my fucking. This is gonna be stream! Chungungo tries to climb a mountain, the stream. It's the fact that he, like, slides when he stops. Oh, for fuck's sake, Mario! Mario's like, what you talking about? I didn't do do shit. This game's too difficult. It's the Dark Souls of video games. It's the Dark Souls of 90s platformers. Let's get soft tacos later. Oh. Why does it have to be soft tacos? I like crunchy tacos. Hot take. Soft tacos are not as good as hard tacos. Hard shell tacos. You're my friend now. Let's go get soft tacos later. Mario like tacos. See, I prefer like the crunchy shell tacos now. I used to be, I used to be like, no, soft shell tacos are my jam, and now I'm just like, no, hard shell tacos are my jam. Uh, 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 uh. Fucking step on me, step on me, bitch. Do it. I prefer eating food. Taco hard shell tacos are food. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. You've never eaten a taco before? Rez! No! Crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel er, grovel here. You win. Take this with you. Oh shit, I killed another one. Mario commits mass genocide. <laughs> Here we go. That's two. Two deaths under my belt. Don't think I won't add a third one. Mario loves genocide. Can you spell genocide? Ghostly Toad. Oh, he comes back. You guys want me to try to do the toad voice? We know he's Chris Pratt for a reason. Mario kills all the insurgents. Mario teaching kids to commit murder? I mean, I mean, literally from game one, not even Super Mario Brothers, even from like Donkey Kong and Mario Brothers. Literally, you're killing innocent, innocent animals. I'm a tiger. <laughs> Fuck a Goomba! Do you guys want me to do the toad voice? I, I will give it my, I'll give it my best shot. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Echo, Sammy, why do you keep fucking redeeming the Echo Waffle? <laughs> do you- do, are you just gonna keep redeeming that until we make this an emote? I need to. Yes. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this and it's gonna hurt my soul. <clears throat> it was Bowser who stole the stars! I saw it with my own eyes! <laughs> That's all you get. That's all you fucking get. Toad voice hurts. He's hidden six stars in each course, but you won't find them all in the same courses until you press the cap switches. The stars you found will show on each course's starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, select the stars you've recovered from them. Branch! Hello! Yahoo! Sometimes you'll bump into invisible walls at the edges of a painting world. So if you hit a wall while flying, you'll bounce back. I can hear your throat! <laughs> I'm gonna have some bread. Get that bread, gamers. <laughs> you, a simpleton, a submissive and breedable. Me, an intellectual, plump, sweet, and begging for cream. Hi, Bentley. Thank you for choosing violence and spooking me. It takes eight stars. As I say, I lost sight of the baby. I don't know where he is, and it scares me. <laughs> I deserve that. <gasps> Pets. Bonks and pets. Oh my god, Chandler. What? Mario, my castle's in great peril. I know that Bowser's the cause, and I just know that you can only stop him. The doors in the castle have been sealed by Bowser. The doors in the castle that have been sealed by Bowser can be opened with, pow with star power. There are secret paths in the castle, paths that Bowser hasn't found. One of those paths is in this room, and it holds one of the castle's secret stars. Find that secret star, Mario. It'll help you on your quest. Please, Mario, you have to help us. Retrieve all the power stars in the castle and free us from this awful prison. Please. I'll find it, Mar I'll find it, Pr princess. What's happened? What's happening, Pat? <laughs> hey, yo, any of you gamers know what the secret is in here? <laughs> Not much happening here. How's things are you spending supering those Marios? Got fucking jams. Oh, I hate the slider. I remember this being a massive pain in the ass. Oh, shit. Bye, you're just in time to see me fall to my death. Let's try that again, shall we? 7,000 attempts at the slider. Because of me PTSD. Yahoo! 
Oh, I can break. I can, like, slow myself down. That works. Once more, with feeling. See, knowing that I can, like, slow myself down definitely helps. the star layout background you've got. It's funky fresh! Babe, Pat thinks the layout's funky fresh. Here we go! What are the castle's secret stars? You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with the three stars on it. Everyone speed up the stairs. Uh, continuously falling from the ice racing stage with that freaking penguin. You can go from the open courses as you please. The enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. Oh god. Yeah, 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 yahoo! <laughs> speed up the stairs, like the fucking BLJ, like... Hold on, let me see if I can, like, I don't know how to do that. How I do, how I do. I forgore. I mean, I think I got the gist of how you're supposed to do it. I need one of the Bowser stars to get in there, because I'm pretty sure. Finally started Mario 64 a little while back. I need to go back to it. I have a save with eight stars, because I played this, I think, when, um, when the 3D All-Stars came out. Which this is. This is 3D All-Stars. It's the 3D All-Stars Mario 64. Because I'm a cheat and I don't have a 64 and I don't want to get... I don't want to get my ass destroyed by Nintendo. Oh, this is uh, Dire Dire Docks, isn't it? Oh, hello. I can't do the stair jump. Well, yeah, I didn't think so. I can do this. I know. Oh, for fuck's sake. Aha! Oh no, give me that, give me that mushroom. Thank you. Spooky's voice. I don't want to do that. Spooky would give me shit. <laughs> oh. What do you want to say? What do you... Okay. <laughs> Rez. Do it. No, I don't want to do it. Cause I don't know how to how to fucking. You don't have a distinctive enough voice for me to really like, s like talk yeah. like it or mock it. Okay, I can do this one. Spooky is a gun to my head now. Oh god. Oh uh, fuck. Uh, if I do if I if I do what I think, it's gonna be a pain either way. Uh. Guys, you can't put this kind of pressure on me. Do it. Ah! Do it, bitch. <laughs> I love how I'm like actually fucking leading into it. <laughs> I've just got finger guns up. <laughs> oh, there we go. The gun's called Bentley. What is this? No, 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 he's gonna play with the fucking head, the cable. I'm cocked and loaded. <laughs> hey, Bentley. <laughs> so long. I feel him stretching. <laughs> <laughs> Bentley, why do you not attack your father? <laughs> no, 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 don't do that, no. No, don't, no. 
No, you leave Bentley out of this. No, really, the cat's really dancing, you guys. <laughs> Get him out of here. Okay, He's freaking me out. Ah! Unnecessary. Unnecessary roughness. Screen, st streams canceled. Spook just just killed Chandler. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm taking over for the evening. Oh, fuck. We're playing Mario. <laughs> Shit. Let's turn, let's turn this to something more my speed. Like, uh, Untitled Goose Game. No, more like, let's watch a movie. <laughs> I can't, honey, we can't watch movies on stream. That'll get us copyright blasted. Uh, we can mute it. We still have video. Oh, well. You're not gonna fucking just dest destroy my career like that. Mission complete! <laughs> You're welcome, Rez. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going back to my show. Okay. Hi, Wilson. Yeah. I hope you bite your toes. No, if anyone's gonna bite my toes, it's gonna be Batman. Mission, Mission complete! complete. Bite your toes, it's gonna be me. That's fair. He gonna nibble my toes. TOS will blast our ass. Oh fuck. Oh god. Bio, why do you give me this kind of power to think about this? <laughs> Time to blast that ass, <laughs> Spook. All right, guys, let's watch a movie on stream. <laughs> Twitch. Time to blast that ass, What's the pretty music? I love di the Dire Dire Docs music. It's so pretty. I need. I. I really want to have like some of the Joel clips, like some of the stuff from his fucking. Uh, What's it? His, um... Uh, DOS Madness. I want to have some of that as, like, zero-bit redeems. If I spam it, I swim faster. I'm a sleepy. Oh, there's one more. There it is. Man, this is easy. Easy beasy. The hardest part was getting into this fucking room. I take it back. The hardest part might be getting the star. Here we go! Here we go! Mario fucking drowns. Whenever I get a star, I always think of the game goes cover. It's like, here we go! music I think it means poggy poggy music I don't know why the developers were obsessed with water games it just seems easier to program it I don't know if it was just easier because it's pretty I don't know if it was just easier to program or if because 90% of the background is just blue hey you know if mr. Tron stopped complaining he would see the potential of green of like chroma keying that shit Slip, slip sliding away. Hey, Pat, guess what time it is? Snow Mountain Summit watch for slippery conditions. Please enter the cottage first. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what time is it? Trauma time.
Oh no. Mr. Tron. Look at this lad. I want to talk to the lad. I want to talk to the lad. Can I stop sliding, please? Maybe the game developers just want you to drown in sorrow. Talk about out-of-body experiences. My body's melted away. Have you run into any headhunters lately? I sure could use a new body. Or my face might freeze like this. I don't think that's what headhunters are supposed to do. Do you have a, like, is that a mitten? Look at this, look at this guy. Ow. Ooh, that was kind of slick. But I don't want to be left adrift by the developers. Mario 64 levels. The cheeriest music you'll ever hear. Also Mario 64 levels. The fires of hell consume you. Good catch. Oh dear, it looks like this, this mama penguin has lost her child. Hey, good, my baby. Have you seen my baby? She's the most precious baby in the whole wide world. They say she has my beak. I just can't remember where I left her. Let's see, I stopped for herring and ice cubes, then I... Oh, I just don't know. You stupid bitch. The little baby penguin is right here. Fucking, where is it? I, I, I did, I bet, shit, I bet, shit, I where the fuck is it? Where the fuck is that stupid penguin baby? Ha ba 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 ba. Ha ba 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 ba. Why does the baby penguin sound like a car? That is a car beep. I can get on the roof. I know I can. There we go. You stupid bitch! The little baby! Fuck. Did someone press the panic button? <laughs> World Crusader, hello! Hi! Uh, I'm doing alright. The game is intended for teens, and maybe they want us to be wet. Well, nothing to, to go with the flow. Listen, if anyone's gonna be making the stupid water, water puns, it's gotta be me. Okay, come on. You stupid bitch! The little baby is right here! Oh dear, it looks like Malkoviches want to be a stupid bitch. This little penguin is not even hers. This is must be some home other homeless penguin. Oh my god, don't drop it, Mario. Stop dropping the fucking penguin baby. No, give it here. No, stop talking to the goddamn mother. Oh my god. That's not a baby penguin, Mario. That's a car. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, Mario. I'm not making any stupid water puns. Listen. You can't... Oh my god. I want to do the fucking... No! No! Please let the baby wander far enough away from the goddamn mother. Please. Uh. 
This is Otter Despair right here. Do you think Mario had to do a PhD to get a super in front of his name? Yeah, I got the PhD. Huh? <laughs> no, that's his spot now. Don't fucking elbow him in the nose. Oh my god, stop it. God damn it. I want to do the joke. I want to do the Malkovich joke because it's like my, one of my favorite things from that. For fuck's sake. Oh, that blue coin. Oh, shite. Ooh. Spicy. No, no, Mamma Mia. God damn it. Mamma mia. Yeah. Hey, go. Oh my god. Crusader, give me a hot second. I will read that. Looks like I fucked up. Mamma mia. Mario, what the hell is fucking wrong with you? Luigi cried in vain, but it was no use. Mario slowly extended his arm over the cliff, his gloved hands beginning to open slowly. Mario, no! Luigi yelled as Mario dropped the penguin off the cliff with a sheet eating grin, marking his mustachioed face. Fuck you, bitch. It's called Super Mario Brothers. I do what I want. That's not very wahoo of you, Mario. But Mario. Hey, little bro. Or should I say, Green Mario? Mario, I I thought you died in Sansabar. Haha, -ha, and that's where you're wrong, bro. See, Blue Shell incident was just a cover up. Oh, fucking Christ. If our cat had any better aim, you'd be dead that Monday. Looks like you could call it a spaghetti up, Luigi. Boing! That was cute. He said boing. He went boing! Mario probably pirates foreign movies and resells them at a markup price. Now imagine that boing voice in the Chris Pratt. I do. Uh, could someone do the social thing? This is some. This is some homeless babe. Homeless baby penguin. Oh well. Come on, fuck it. Give it here. Give it. No, it's just yeah, social. This is some random homeless penguin. Oh well, off the cliff with this one. Oh, you bitch, Nintendo, no. Off the cliff with this one! <laughs> fucking just sunk like fucking Mega Man. It's like, you! <laughs> Super Mario, no! 
<laughs> we could eat a joint. Bruh, me too. Like. Huh? Oh, we're just giving shit to Bentley. <laughs> Mario can't do that. I can and I will. Mario, no! It is the execution of the little one. The bambino needs to die. It's for the greater good. What the penguin doing? Uh, nothing. Penguin fucking fell off the cliff. Disappeared off of this plane of existence. Haha, <laughs> 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 Bentley's bothering Spook tonight. How do I get back to the top? Okay, sorry. God damn it. Things spelled horribly is my humor. <laughs> Graphic design is my passion. Little did we know, the baby penguin is a world-class terrorist wanted in 10 countries in just two years of living. How- <laughs> What the fuck? Ham- Hamular- Lar- Burkulier- Burgerosis. I- I swore that the Burgerosis was saying, like, bourgeois. I was just like, the fuck are we on about right now? Wait, what? No, wait. No, wait, no, 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 no. Squidward tentacles? Is that y <laughs> Is that Who's Squidward tentacles? Who did that? Who joined my server as Squidward tentacles? Guys, it didn't work. He's still here. The birds work for the bourgeoisie. That's me. This penguin is proving to be troublesome. You heat the baby. I am I am Skitwort Tentacles. Tentacles. Hamburger. Hamburger. Mario chooses violence. You know Mario's pro-choice. No, wait, no, no! <laughs> that was almost really bad. No! No! <laughs> Fuck. The baby came back, it's just like, now it's your turn, bitch! What does he have? Oh! <laughs> Fuck! That was your fault for catching him. What did he get? What did he what did he get? Oh. Is your monitor okay? And it jumped until after I grabbed him. Let's go! Mario's pro-choice, but he chooses not to be pro-alive. Are you hitting on my sister? Yes, I am. Do you want to fucking die? Yes, I do. Wait, what? Mamma mia. Can you make me a nice hamburger with fries? Slip sliding away. I guess I have to do the the slider. No, fuck that. I'm gonna do the baby.
Unless he eat the baby, not Mario, unless Mario is the baby. Well, he does crawl, al crawl, crawl around like a baby. Mario's a baby. Go, go, gaga. Bambino. Mario's fucking zooming! God damn it. I think it's more fun to just kill myself in mysterious, like, not mysterious, but like, just ridiculous ways. <laughs> hey, a baby, you and me and some Alfredo Ravioli. That sounds good, actually. We had some chicken Alfredo for like the past two dinners. This is really good. The way that he grabs it, this looks like he's about to fucking punch the baby in the back of the head. Oh, I don't have any more lives. <laughs> Maybe if I stopped m killing myself for the jokes, I would have lives. <laughs> oh my god. Give me that, give me that mushroom. This is where the baby murder gets you. <laughs> oh, bitch! No! I. <laughs> no, for fuck's sake! No! Fucking hell! You deserve that for that. Shut your fucking mouth! You're the one that laughs at me every single fucking time that Bentley does something like a troglodyte. Yes, and it's you're the company. Oh my god. You're the one that fucking does that too. Come after my toes. But it's funny when I do it. Uh see, Crusader, you you made me realize that I should have bought um, the three-month subscription for voice mod because I want to do that. I want to do the Spamton thing, but I can't because I don't have the thing. God damn it. Come on. This is my chance to be a big shot. Actually, hold on. Give me a second. I have a re I have a feeling I know why he's being rambunctious. I told you that I get some water. Yeah. You just said, "Can you get some for the lady?" And she said, "Well." Oh God! Oh fuck! Oh. Do they need food? Uh, no, their food's fine. It's just the water that's all in the cell. Oh look! Here's his mom. She's like, "Dad, what you doing?" Now's your chance to be a big shot. Oh my fucking god. Ah! Hold on. Oh, not that. Fucking bots. Hey, Twitch, get your shit straight. <laughs> I 
I prefer extortion. Buying followers sounds like too much effort. I prefer extortion. Personally, I prefer the air. Now's your chance to be a big shot. Be a big, be a big baba booey. Fucking hell. What? Ah, uh, baba booey. Ah, uh, papaya. Banana. Twitch do be at it. No, they do be. I love how Mario goes like, Yahoo, this is fun. Me, I'm just like, Ugh. is he kidnapping that child? Ever eat roasted pumpkin seeds? I think I might have tried some at one point, but it just never really caught the appeal. I think my parents used to do it whenever we carved pumpkins, but I never really... I never really liked it. Read my m m m message. Or read my m message. These things taste like crap, but they're so addicting. Then why are you eating it, though? If it tastes like shit, why are you eating it? Oh shit. I'm going to do this because I want the joke. I'm doing this because I want to make the joke. Oh, hold on. It is always fun to see the misfortune of others, especially a mother who has lost her child. This penguin asked you to find her little penguin boy. But what a stupid bitch, her baby boy is right here. She did not see this. She did not see that her little penguin is sit right in front of her. Uh, she, uh, she must, must be, be a blind, blind queen. queen. Because, uh, because, there is, because she cannot see a few feet ahead of her own eyes. It, it's like mother always said, a drop in the basket is it's worth a shepherd's shilling. shilling. Remember that, take it to, the, take it to heart. Oh dear, it look like a Malkovich is one to be a stupid bitch. Because this baby just says it's not even hers. This is a, some homeless penguin baby. Oh well, we uh. drop it off a cliff. Here is real baby. Oh yes, yeah, so we found it. Now mother and son can be together and have a wonderful future. Off the cliff with this one too. Now you have it no son, you just have, have a puddle to walk around in. the misfortune of those f***ing penguins. Malkovich, you can't curse, this is public access. What? <laughs> and now we return from Chandler goes to YouTube just to make a really stupid fucking joke. Wow, is that, seg is that segment of the stream? It was. <laughs> I hate that it's become so regular. <laughs> Oh, there's Bentley. Can you do something? No. I don't. Joke is more creative than the stuff I make. Don't you hate it when you read red as red and you have to reread red as red? <laughs> you found my precious, precious baby. Where have you been? How could I ever thank you, Mario? Oh, I do have this star. Here, take it with my eternal gratitude. She sparks out a star. Here we go.
Everyone knows penguins shit stars. That's just science. <laughs> Man, I must have missed that class. Does that just save my zoo trip? More confusing. Oh my god. Ah, I got it! Something's wrong. Mario didn't commit murder to get a star this time. We live in the wrong timeline. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit. I'm glad I know about the breaking thing. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, thank god. <laughs> so, Mario at this point's everyone's head can- in everyone's head cannon? Just a crazy psychopath like postal dude who just kills for everything and is as sane as we want him to be? Hi there, would you like to sign my petition? Shit. Fucking hell. Super Mario, aka the American Psycho. You like Huey Lewis in the news? Trying to 100% postal tube by the end of the year, but it's got on sale for a dollar and it was absolutely worth it. See, I got it. Um, how do I how do I do this? Fuck! How am I supposed to do this? help how do I go how do I get up shut up you're not helping will a triple jump give you the height I don't know I don't know if it will that's the thing do I have the space to do it maybe if I actually did it right what game developers expect kids to excel at in the 90s. No wonder all those kids were taking drugs. They had to fucking deal with this shit. Oh, I did it. There we go. Oh. Oh, there we go. Mario started the war on drugs confirmed. He did it to topless competitors. Here we go. Nice. High score. Bentley.
He's gonna run out of things to fuck around with. And he's just gonna be sad. Yeah, and then we'll move. Foot race with Koopa the Quick. I like Koopa the Kid as an idea, as like a name. Is that him? Is that Mr. Koopa? Hey Mario, is it true that you beat the big ba bomb? Cool. You must be so you must be strong. And pretty fast. So how fast are you anyway? Fast enough to beat me? Koopa the quick? I don't think so. Just try me. I don't think so. Just try me. How about a race to the big mountain? Where the big ba bomb was? What do you say? When I say go, let the race begin. Ready? Go. See, what you failed to understand, take into consideration, Mr. Quick, is that I have, like, n unnatural demon powers. Where? Oh. Oh, is he gonna fuck in the trash can again? Trying to what? Yo, what? He's trying to what? Mission compris. Let's race to the place where you murder a king, you monster. <laughs> Mario does a pole dance. Let's race to the place where you murdered our king, you monster. Listen, I think King Koopa is still the king of the Koopas. You know Bowser? You really are fast. A human blur. Here you go. You've won it. Fair and square. I didn't have to explode him to do it. Mario, you did such a good strip tease. I'm going to give you a star. Mario could actually race Sonic now. I mean, do you doubt his power? Shoot to the island in the sky. This one I remember doing. It's a me, Chongongo. I have a small announcement to make, but I want to wait till like my brain can actually get it cohesive. <laughs> Fucking Christ. <laughs> Mario gotta do what he gotta do to earn a living. Oh no. <laughs> oh please. Please tell me it's the stripper. Or the, 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 the stripper pole. Mario does a pole dance. <laughs> Mario does a pole dance. You know, for money. For walking around money. What that Koopa doing? What that Koopa doing? I think I know a country that would pay thousands of dollars for one of those bombs. Listen, let's not talk about that.
Oh no, he's naked. Oh no, he ran away. Oh, that's cute. Oh shit. I'm gonna fuck him up. I fucked him up. Put oh, blue coin. Awesome. Bomb, bomb, bomb bombs are such a genius enemy, and I love the creativity of them, though. Do an ollie. Do a sick, sick kick flip. This is fun. This is, like, really dumb fun. Oh, God damn it. I was doing so good, too. He just... Hey, I just stole your clothes as a skateboard, but that's okay. It's a me, Mario! Mario is a fucking, like, absolute maniac. He eats babies off cliffs. He steals people's clothes and rides them like skateboards. He commits... He commits genocide. I do what I want. I'm fucking Mario! The princess can wait. Mario's killing everyone because they didn't sign his petition to make whiny congressmen play Nintendo games. <clears throat> Hi there. Would you like to sign my petition? Hi there. Oh shit. Ow. No way, you freaking pinko. Shit. Hi there. Sign my petition or I'm gonna fucking follow you home and kill your dog. I warned her. If you release the chain chomp, you get a star. It feels like japes, but also I have to believe it. Oh, God damn it. Oh, fucking Christ. Ow. Oh, fucking hell. A quote bot? I do not. It's a good idea, though. Run a mama's your Mia. Fucking Christ. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> you mama your last Mia. This is it, Luigi. Death perceptions wickedy <laughs> whack, yo. Why do I. Why is it that when I read words like that? I think of Erwin from Billy and Mandy. Hey, Mandy.
Mario and Luigi get drafted to Vietnam. War. War never changes. I made a sacrifice, and yet he's still unpleased. Oh, God damn it. Ow. This death reception is fucking jank. Oh, fucking Christ. Come on. What is he doing? <laughs> well, you interrupted his bath. Myra starts playing Fortunate Son as he flies. <laughs> as he flies over. Uh, a, hel a heli over Kaysan, ready to drop some napalm. <laughs> Mario commits war crimes. Napalm sticks to the Goombas. Oh god! Shit. Game over. Game over, fam. Game over. He's taking after his younger brother now. Wilson is aggressively attacking Spook. You interrupted his bath. No, I didn't. I was petting him and he decided to go to sleep. Yeah. Yahoo! Not chew on my back. Do not chew on my back. Do not chew on my back. Need to move quick? Hi, we're the gay movers. I'll pay you two Chinese, uh, however you say that, and three pennies for you to go kidnap a penguin. I spent pennies. I feel bad because my brain's just thinking like, you know, Mario 64 is alright and all, but like, part of me really wants to go back and play Animal Crossing. No, there's a there's a there's a thing there. That's just that's great. Mood, I'm playing Mario 64, but I think NC64 games have the top roughest time aging. I mean, they kind of do. Like, I'm just gonna let him drift. Like, I don't know. I think it's just because of how clunky it is. Like, it just, it doesn't control very well. Like, it's okay and everything. It, it's like, okay. I feel the same way about this game as I do Super Metroid. Except, I don't know if I'll be able to acclimate to Mario's controls. Like, I understand that this is a huge, like, massive, like, nostalgia trip for a lot of people. And it's, like, considered one of the best in the series. Because it like run it like reinvented how the game's franchises worked and carried out from that point on. But like, eh. I kind of enjoyed Sonic Adventure One more. It weirdly feels a lot better than it feels a lot better than Sonic Adventure Two. See, like, uh, 
I don't know how to how I feel about that. Like, not that I think your opinion is wrong. It's just like I don't know. Like Sonic Adventure One and Two are like really, they control really similarly, but like Two just feels a lot more polished and fast paced. I grew up with New Super Mario Brothers, and I have beaten that game dozens of times. I speedrun it in an hour in a car ride once. Holy shit! Let's go. Oh my god! If you kidnap that baby, baby penguin, I'll give you. Hold on. A dollar, a paperclip, a non-refundable blockbuster gift card, and a Lego? What kind of Lego is it? I hate this goddamn motherfucking chain chomp. It's like everywhere that I need to be, he's like right in front of me. Sonic Adventure 2 felt worse than the first one. See, for me, I grew up on, um... I grew up on the GBA port of, um... Super Mario World. And some of, uh, Mario 3 and the original. Because there was a Game Boy Color release of Super Mario Brothers, which is Super Mario Brothers Deluxe, I believe. Really fun. Um, even if the screen size gets a bit, like, crushed. Oh, god damn it. I didn't think it would do two. Let's say fuck ba Bob Battlefield for now. Ooh. I grew up with Sonic Adventure DX and not even the full game. Just play the demo over and over. <laughs> Plunder in the sunken ship. See, I would give my opinions on Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, but I want to stream those at some point. Actually, fuck it. Had a demo disc with it. Yeah, fuck it. Hot takes with Chandler. Um, I think combined, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 would have made a great game. The only one that actually hates Mario 64? Like, Rez, do you hate Mario 64? Ooh, sweepy strings. Kinda? Like, have you pl Okay, like, have you played it before? Not to be like, oh, you can't hate on a game you never played, because it's just like, you know, I've never really played Kingdom Hearts, and I just don't really care for the gameplay style, but that doesn't mean I'm not gonna, I'm gonna shit on the game in general. Okay, you have played it before. Okay, okay I gotcha. I didn't want to be like, oh, if you haven't played it, you can't fucking just say anything. You can't say things like that. But I mean, I could I could kind of understand. Like, uh, uh, it's not really... It's very clunky. Like, it's, co it's fun and all, but like, it's just not... Super. Pun intended. Oh, what the fuck? Not a fan of how slippery Mario is. Yeah, I mean, I'm not either. Oh, it's just the cliffs. Wilson, quit clawing at the fucking walls. Yeah, Mario. <laughs> Kanze Mario. Mario Drifto. He feels- he just feels like a less refined Mario- uh, Super Mario Sunshine Mario. Which I know is like saying that, you know, this game came first, so technically that would be the case. But to me it's just like, I'd rather play Sunshine. Uh, 
Oh, ow. Okay. The fuck? Wow, okay. Ha 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 One! What's the sign say? Arr, hoy matey, I've sunk in treasure here, I do. But to pluck me pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chest in the right order. What order is that, you say? I'll never tell. Not sure how I feel about a Clifford, Clifford movie. Oh, okay, so I gotta do it, like, in the exact order. Haha, <laughs> that's exactly what I thought. <gasps> it's a star! Here we go. So my question is, for the Clifford movie, does Clifford just look like... Okay, is Clifford... Is the whole movie, like, animated? Eight, eight, eight power stars. Awesome. Yeah, is Clifford... Uh, is the mo is the whole world... The whole movie, is it animated? Or is it, like... Clifford in, our three Clifford in the real world? Oh, fucking hell. A big dog, but dumped in a red bucket of paint. He's just a CG dog. God damn it. Can someone explain to me the appeal of putting CG characters in a live-action movie that isn't fucking like marvel or dc like can somebody please explain that to me oh god damn it <laughs> you stepped right into my trap just as i knew you would i warn you friend watch your step Oh no, he's got the gas. Earth room, there's a gas. Is that a fucking Germa reference? Kind of. Maybe. Got no, come on! As an animator, it's constantly a bit of a kick in the teeth, especially in re remakes of films that were already animated. Yeah, I mean... Like... I'm gonna turn the volume down on my computer while my brain thinks about this. To me, it's like... Putting CG characters in a live-action environment never, ever seems to work out well. Except the one time, and it was called, WHO FRAMED ROGER RABBIT? And even then, it was incredibly stylized and incredibly smooth. It had a fantastic universe, and it was just perfect. Like, practically perfect in every way. I love old Disney, especially Mulan, but the modern, Di modern Disney live-action remakes are getting so insulting and offensive to me. Uh, yeah. Speaking of Mulan, how, how fucking bullshit is Mulan? I have not seen it myself, I've just heard that it's, like, absolutely terrible. Who Framed Roger Rabbit... Hold on, I'll read that in a sec. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is a master class of animation. One of the lead animators on it wrote, perhaps, THE leading textbook on animation technique. Holy shit. I mean, fucking earned that. Like, literally, Who Framed Roger Rabbit is probably one of the best, like incorporations like like just just the blending of reality and fiction like ever like you can fucking literally you can quote me on that who framed roger rabbit is probably the best the best concept of a live action like cg like animated characters in a live action environment ever it's like it's incredible and it's a shame that i haven't watched it more often Oh shit, it's the boy. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool is in here. <laughs> Go ahead, just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you will never throw me out of here. Never. Ha! Huh? Oh, you think so, Mr. Co Mr. Koopa? I hate that the fuck. I hate the fucking. Ow. Touch Scaly's hand. Get him! Get him! Oh, oh, I gotta spin him. Oh, spin! Oh, shit! Oh! 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 
Do it, do it, Mario, do it. Say the thing. Bye-bye. Oh, God damn it. He didn't say the, he didn't say the thing. Grr, I was a bit careless. This is not as I had planned, but I still had the power of the stars and I still have Peach. Bwah, you'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. You'll pay for this later. Boss key. Here we go! Mulan is offensive to both Chinese culture and as a movie. It destroys the original theme of finding self-worth while believing in what makes you special. Mulan used her femininity and intellect without needing to be stronger than her enemies physically. This is demonstrated in the pole scene with the weights. In the remake, she has special chi magic powers and it absolutely just pisses on the story and legacy of the original film. <laughs> so long, gay Bowser has become bye-bye! Yeah, if I remember correctly, there's yeah, there's a fucking witch that turns herself into a fucking falcon. Which is so goddamn stupid in my mind. It's just like, listen. Modern Disney. We're going to modernize, update, and make all of these beloved like beloved films of ours from the Renaissance and everything into live action and make them quote unquote unquote like 700 quotes better by making them 700 more quotes realistic. Also Disney. Oh yeah, we're gonna just, you know, make, we're just gonna add a new villain to Mulan and just say that there's magic. Yeah, there, a phoenix which has nothing to do with Chinese culture or plot, yet they remove Mushu to be realistic while adding a witch. Yeah, and the songs. I remember everyone hates the fact that they got rid of the fucking songs. <laughs> And to be honest, is one of the things that drags Mulan down for me. Like, like I've I've seen Mulan maybe like twice in my life. I've I've never, I have never liked Mushu. Mushu is okay in like tiny, minuscule handfuls, but like Mushu in general is annoying, loud, and obnoxious, and he just drives me fucking crazy. He's like a worse donkey. And I do make that parallel because it's Eddie Murphy. Because donkey is annoying, but not like to the point that I want to fucking grind him into dust. Mushu, Mushu sure is a character who's there. Yeah, you got that right, Pat. I remember that one scene where they were singing a girl worth fighting for, but they approached the battlefield and burnt village and they all go silent and go entirely silent creating a somber scene with emotion, yet in the remake, they all talk and it ruins any emotional weight to the scene. Yeah. It's like, let's not just express through, oh, I don't know, acting how our characters are feeling. Let's just have exposition. Ugh. No, let's not have, let's not allow... It's not, let's not allow our fucking audience to read between the lines and interpret emotions. Let's just literally spell it out to them because they're a bunch of dumb fucks who can't understand things like, oh, I don't know, imagery or symbolism or subtlety. Like, ugh. Imagery is a stronger tool than exposition. You're got, you fucking got that right. Star Fountain. What's this say? I want to know what it says. What does this sign say? If you stomp the press the ZL to crouch, it
So it's just a little tutorial area. Okay. Uh, what about the live-action beauty and bestiality? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Give me, okay, give me a hot second. I'll be right back. I gotta go, I'm gonna get a soda. Like, another soda. It'll take, like, two seconds. I'm not even gonna do a BRB. I'm li literally just gonna fucking get up and get a soda. Okay, hold on. Get my headset back on. Okay. <clears throat> so, hot take. I actually didn't mind Beauty and the Beast. The live action Beauty and the Beast. I didn't mind it at first. There are some things about it that I actually really like. Um, I like the fact that Mrs. Potts doesn't look like a fucking elephant for one. That's the thing that always pissed me off about the original is that she, she, her fucking, like, her spout is literally where her nose is and she looks like a fucking elephant and it looks so stupid. Like, you can call it charming, you can call it cute, I think it just looks fucking stupid. It's distracting. Still find it hilarious that Corelli got an origin story where her mom was killed by Dalmatians and Maleficent got betrayed by the guy she loved. Okay, to be fair... Cruella was actually really fucking good. To me, I thought it was fantastic. I've never actually seen the OG Beauty and the Beast, let alone the live action. I should get around to that. I mean, if you've got Disney Plus or know someone that does, it, they're, they're both on there. At least they should be. It's fucking Disney, for God's sake. They have, like, everything under the stun. They, they've even got fucking honest opinion. Hey, that's your honest opinion. I shall respect that. I appreciate that. that. That's something the whole world needs to fucking aspire, inspire, aspire to be. It's like, hey, hey, yo, that's your honest opinion, and I shall respect that. Because that's literally me. Like, for a lot of things, it's just like, oh, this is fucking, the thing you like is fucking shit, and you're shit for liking it. It's just like, hey, man. <laughs> Hold on, fuck. <laughs> Like, I have literally, my brain has literally become. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Like, I've, mel I've, I've been like that for a long time. It's just like, that thing that you like is shit, and you're shit for liking it. Well, that's just, you know, like, your opinion, man. Like, there's a lot of things that I hate, I hate and really dislike. That a lot of people love. What the hell is this? I didn't like Corolla, but I can understand why you enjoy it. I thought Corolla was just really fun. Like, they did a really good job. To, in my opinion, I think they did a really good job. What the fuck is this? Rusty Bucket Bay? Oh, it's a hell world. Boil the big bully. I hated Shazam and everyone loved that. I, like, I get why people... I get why people... I why, I get why people do, but it just was nah for me. Don't be a pushover. If anyone tries to shove you around, push back. It's one on one with a fiery finish for the loser. There's a lot of things where I'm just like. Oh shit, ow. Oh, what the fuck is this dude? 
I'm gonna die in like five seconds because I don't know what the fuck's going on. Oh, why is there an eyeball? To be honest, I don't go to the cinemas to watch movies anymore. I mean, the last movie we actually saw was Cruella. That was like the last movie we saw in theaters. And honestly, that was a good date night. Here we go! I, uh, what the fuck was the last movie we saw before that? Oh, hold up. I miss that Crusader. To be honest, I don't like the Star Wars sequels because as a massive Star Wars nerd, the trilogy was just just felt bloated and disappointing to me. I mean, that's fair. I know a lot of people shit on the sequels. And like... I'll be honest. I've just gotten so just... I've gotten so just... I, I just don't care enough to be like, you know, the sequels are okay. Or like, they're all right i mean they are they're all right in my opinion but like i can understand 100 percent why everyone hates it or why hate why everyone hates them like that's why i'm more just like i'd rather watch like you know rogue one or solo or the mandalorian one i don't have the time two i don't have anyone to go with three i prefer to spend it on food I liked 7 because it was a decent setup but i literally face palmed 11 times of return in the rise of skywalker I honestly love the prequels, though. <gasps> it's him! He's the key to everything! And he's dead. Episode 9 was so bad, there are so many plot holes. I mean... <laughs> Yoda, you old toad, you look terrible. Dead I am. Dead also, I wish you to be. This is a neat place. I don't. I don't. I've never seen this part of Mario 64. <laughs> I fucking. <laughs> oh, Miriam, the youth potion could prove to be problematic. Problematic? How? It eats the blood of children. If I were a young child and a nice old green woman came up to me and said, "I, I have a date tonight and I need some of your blood." I would give her the blood! I remember watching it in the theater with the homies for a birthday, but my god, even though I love Ian McDermott and his acting, I wish they didn't bring Palpatine back. I. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. It's such a good impression of the voices! <laughs> It's a, it, I feel bad because I've only ever watched that like that's that thing like maybe two or three times like okay four ever it's really like the animation their animation's really good Palpatine has returned it's a line that haunts me nice pole dancing skills Mario but he can even be bayonetta in that category <laughs> oh my god I don't know how I'd feel about that I just I have this really cursed idea that Mario is like packing like fucking metaton legs like we just have like the normal like Mario 64 Mario but like he's actually packing like fucking metaton legs Like, that just feels incredibly cursed in my brain. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't tell me this is what I think it is. Swimming beast in the cavern. Mario got thighs for days after the jumps he's been doing. They need this magic MacGuffin. They, they need to get to the place. And all of a sudden, the entire rebel... Sorry. Re sorry resistance fleet just shows up. How? I don't know. We felt it in the force. Tell me the thing breaks if it hits a wall. Whoa. Whoa. Fuck. <laughs> 
Oh well. I mean, isn't Star Wars all just like a MacGuffin? I mean, Anakin was a MacGuffin. Is that an eye? Nova! Oh my god, hi! Don't tell Jojo, but I'm gonna steal it! Oh my god, hi, Nova! Surprise, surprise, uh, fucking, um. Oh god, my brain. Surprise, Spinda! Hi! Oh my god! It's true, Star Wars is just full of many MacGuffins. I mean, like, really, it's just like... What is the Force but not a MacGuffin? Like, <laughs> I love the original Star Wars trilogy. Like, whether it be the, the fucking... The Lucas edits or, like, the actual original trilogy. I mean, it's a great series. Like, if anyone says anything otherwise, then they're blind. Stupid. Or, like, just contrarian for contrarian's sake. But, like, the Force really is just a goddamn MacGuffin. It's just like, how were you able to do that, the Force? How did you know that was going to happen, the Force? How did you know someone was dead, the Force? How were you able to talk to someone from beyond the grave, the Force? How are you able to shoot lightning out of your hands, the Force? Like, it's... This is probably just me being just fucking to obtuse for the sake of ob being obtuse, but like, it really is just like, the Force is just a MacGuffin. Star Wars is just the MacGuffin the series. I mean, I don't even think the fucking Lord of the Rings had that bad of a MacGuffin. I absolutely despise how they treated the lightsaber. It's not a laser sword. It's a weapon that you need to train your mind and body for years to use it. You can't just pick it up and go, This is mine now. I mean, that's a really fair point. Because it's like, if anyone could use, use a lightsaber... Okay. I saw you doing a silly dance earlier when you were setting up the stream. What? What you mean? What you mean doing a silly dance with setting up? What are you talking about? I was bouncing. Yeah, well... Wait, what? What about Vito Tube? What? Okay, Nova, like... What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I, I was, but like... Okay, like, I legit got freaked out for a sec, because it's like... A little dance back and forth. Yeah, I was, I was just vibing. <laughs> but like, that legitimately concerned me, because I was listening to shit on SoundCloud while I was just getting stream properly set up, and I was just like, how the fuck were you watching me? Like, I'm not like, Nova... Do you have, like, access to my computer? It's more just like, Nova, how the fuck were you able to see that? Oh god, those are fucking... Those hurt. Those big hurty. Do a little dance. Nova's got eyes everywhere. Nova's a pro hacker. It's always the sweetest ones you have to expect... You have to expect to go to be... It's always the sweetest ones that turn out to be sour. <laughs> Exposed. Oh, God. Nova knows Chandler's real face. There's like a handful of people that... I, I, I'm pretty sure there's a handful of people that watch me that know who, what I actually look like. I mean, of course, for fuck's sake, Spooky lives with me. What? <laughs> <laughs> Spooky has face blindness. He doesn't know what I look like. Nova's seen my browser history. He knows about the chickens. You know nothing. I don't know. Spooky knows what my... Huh? That's fair. Look at this lad. Oh. Oh, he's so cute. It's a big... It's a big dinosaur floating around the... Floating around the water. 
I know about everything. Is literally the sweetest ones that turn out to be sour as hell. Nova's literally a sour patch kid. Sour, this sweet, this tall. It'd be a oh to be a big dinosaur floating around in the water. That just sounds like it would be super fun. I mean look at this lad, he's just he's just vibing. You don't know me, I've proven you lay wrong. Like, he's so sweet. Remember the dino guy from the water level in Odyssey? I have actually not played Mario Odyssey. I haven't even played Mario Galaxy. Like, climb on its freaking head. Listen, you don't have to be so aggressive. Backseating's allowed, just not like, you fucking idiot, just do it! I just don't want to fall in the water. Look at him. He's, look, he's just so sweet. Yeah, guys. This is going to be really, really spicy, but like... No, it's okay. Like, I'm not I'm not meaning to give you shit. It's more just like... Oh, he'd do a spin! He's literally just doing... Spin! But, um... Yeah, it's like, I just don't want to fall off because it's like, he's so sweet and the water sucks. But yeah, I've only, the only 3D Mario, like, open world platformer that's not, like, okay. Of the open world Mario platformers, like, 64, Sunshine, Galaxy, Galaxy 2, and Odyssey, I've only played Sunshine. This is the most I think I've played of Mario 64 ever. Oh, wait, does he turn when I turn? Well, Sebastian, thanks for the follow. How do I climb on his fucking head? Do I have to, like... Do I have to jump? Do I have to, like, big, do a big yump? I appreciate that he's, like, actually turning when I, like stand at certain spots. Thank you, Branch. Or do I have to, like, do a do a jump? Like a big jump? Okay, maybe if I actually did the big jump instead of just fuck up? Mario's the type to walk up the stairs after turning off the lights! <laughs> Mario has no fear. Luigi, please, I'm far scarier than anything else we'll be seeing here. <laughs> Mario is the true monster under the bed. <laughs> like, Mario legit is just, like, the scarier monster than anything we could imagine. You just hear that? Uh oh. Guys. Guys, call the police. Help. I don't know what's going on. See, it would be funny if I lived in my parents' house still, but like... Hello! So <laughs> long! There's no mercy under the spaghetti sun. I, t I, I did a dumb joke. I mean, what else is fucking new? I need to have just like a fucking soundboard. I don't like how he just keeps spinning because I can't fucking see what I'm doing. The 
fuck did I just come back to? I was gone for legit five seconds. Thanks, Chan. Mario just burned my door. Who's gonna get me a new door now? Um, you could always go to your local hardware store. I'm, I don't know if they're cheap enough, but like, you could always just go and buy a new door. Call your landlord. Call your parents. Call your priest, your minister, or rabbi. Because drugs can and will kill. And if you do drugs, you go to hell before you die. Please. May I offer you an egg in these trying time? Oh fuck, I should go back to watching It's Always Sunny. Okay, okay, Mr. Man. Mr. Dino Man. I love him, but like, I don't know how to work this man. Funny fact. Fun facts with bio. Yeah. Is software called software because it ain't physical and so the opposite of hardware? I mean, yeah. It makes sense. I grew up only an hour away from Philly. Oh my god. Oh, fuck off, Mario. Or is this just a lot dumber, like a lot more simple than I fucking make it out to be? Is it literally just like, hey, look, here's a switch. Press the switch and you got a fucking platform. No, because I probably got to drain the water or something. What's the sign say? Underground lake, right, metal cave, left, abandoned mine, close. A gentle sea dragon lives here. Pound on his back to make him lower his head. Don't make it... Don't become his lunch. This sweet boy? This sweet boy? This absolute lad would eat me? No. I refuse to believe that. He's too sweet. My dad used to take us to downtown Philly yearly. It's a very close it's a city very close to my heart. I've never been to Philly. Oh, I feel so bad! The poor baby! Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> God, piece of shit. Make me hurt the poor sweet baby dragon. And then you fuck me up. British Chandler jumping out. I don't like the Yelp. The Yelp makes me feel like a monster. And not the fun kind of monster, but like the one where it's just like, haha, babies are worth, babies need to be destroyed. Here we go. The Yelp just hurts my soul. Mario's taking over the server soon. Mario will rule the Discord. Guys, what do you think Mario and Luigi stands on furries are? <laughs> hey Toad, what are you doing down here? Wow, you've already re recovered that many stars? Way to go, Mario! I'll bet you have this have us out of here in no time. Be careful though. Bowser and his band wrote the book on bad. Take my advice. When you need to recover from injuries, collect coins. Yellow coins refill one piece of the power meter. Red coins refill two. Blue coins refill five. To make blue coins appear, pound on blue coin blocks. Also, if you fall from high places, you'll minimize damage if you pound the ground as you land. I hope that star was worth it, Super Mario. Mario doesn't feel pain in hurting little Dino. No! Luigi's a furry. This is the opposite of the usual Mario and Luigi meme. When now Mario is the insane fucker instead of Luigi. Wait, I thought Luigi was the one that was, like, level-headed. Or have I been having that back ass words this whole time? Yeah, it takes 30. I keep forgetting that. Like, 
Like, I feel really dumb if it was actually the other way around, where it's just like... I thought I had... Oh, do I have to have another key? I know how to do this, but how do I do this? I know what to do, just not how to do it. How am I supposed to look up into the fucking light? How? I literally can't fucking turn the camera to look up in the goddamn light. Must be nice to look at heaven even though almost all of us are going down there. Nova will go up to heaven. Nova's a sweet being. Also, they'll, not heal. It's all good, Rez. I'm a tiger. How do I how do I look up into heaven's light? God's in his heaven, all's right with the world. Meanwhile in Japan. Get in the fucking robot, Shinji. I never got to hang up pronouns myself. It, it took me a little while. It wasn't until, like, I actually had friends that, like, went by... Uh, no. Actually, hold on. It just never really... Okay. I, mm. I'm debating on whether or not I should, like, say this the way that I want to. I've sinned for wrongly saying Nova's pronouns wrong. Welp, I'm definitely going to hell then. I don't think that's the reason you're going to go to hell, Rez. Okay, if I, I'm going to try to phrase this as cautiously as I possibly can. Uh, before I got used to the neutral pronouns... Like, they, them, they, like, they, them, theirs. I always thought that neutral always seemed to be, like, it, it felt impersonal and in hindsight, or, like, in retrospect, this probably wasn't, like, the I guess the best, but, like, I, I thought of it as, like, dehumanizing. To like refer to be like, oh, they're not a person. They're just a them. They're just an it. And it's just like I, I don't, I just don't like that. Them and its pronouns are completely different. I know, but like, I always thought that like if someone just wanted to be referred neutrally, that it was just, just not like they didn't want to be referred to like a, as a person. Yeah, you sent me that fucking Shinji meme. No, I don't know what to do, Rez. I'm no I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Help me. I am a lost child. I don't know what I'm doing. Stop fucking I just use the camera to look up. 
Golly, you don't say, Rez. I mean, use the ca use the camera to look up. The the ca oh. See, I didn't know that if you went into that, you could use the left stick to look up and down. Oh my god. I wouldn't say dehumanizing all, I just never understood the grammar behind it. I mean, that's fair. Welcome to the wing cap course. Step on the red switch at the top of the tower in the center of the rainbow ring. When you trigger the switch, all the red blocks you'll find will become solid. Uh, try out the wing cap. Do a triple jump to, make sh to take off and press ZL to land. Pull back on the L stick to go up and tilt forward to nose down, just as you would for flying an airplane. I kind of hate the wing cap. Well, we'll see. We'll see how much I hate it. Okay, maybe I should, like, fly through the rings? Instead of, like, along the side of them. Oh, is this a momentum thing? Or, like, I have to do this as I'm flying? Oh, I don't like this. I don't, I don't know if I like the wing cap anymore. Momentum, that's what it is. Wearing the wing cap, you can soar through the sky, and now wing caps will pop up, all, pop out of all the red blocks you find. Yes. Oh, that was easy. Can I leave now? Do I have to, do I have to jump from the tower? The wing cap caused me so much pain on this stage alone. Like, gravitational accelerator even? Like, how, how the fuck does it work? Is it like the elytra? No, because I'm actually going down. Fuck it, I'm gonna kill myself. Bentley! Oh my god. Thank you, Milkfish. I'm a tiger. Me too, Mario. Mm. He he literally slunk behind my fucking tower and walked behind my monitors. I honestly think I'm kind of done with Mario 64. I don't know if it's in general or just for tonight, but like... <sighs> I think I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Bentley! Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna actually murder you. What did he do? I saw what I saw how he jumped up there. What did he knock over? He's, he knocked off my he knocked my phone off of the fucking desk for one. Give me get a crinkly. Find one! There's like 700 in the apartment! Fucking hell! He fucking. I think his claw hooked on the fucking. the fan, the side fan of my tower. It probably did, considering that they are open holes. Yeah, 
guests because they are fans. What are you doing? What the fuck do you, what, what, what is it under you that you want? No. It's a complicated game. Time to put Mario 64 in a home. My grandpa's dead. Anyways, bye-bye Mario 64. Uh, now I'm not the only one hating this game. I just hate parts of it, like the wing cap and L being fake. Ugh. I, it, it just doesn't flow well enough to me. Oh, hey, Gila. Hey. Like, I think for me, it's more just like the game is too clunky for me to enjoy it like the, I'll use the same analogy that I did for Mario or for um uh ba -ba -ba -ba. okay yeah what other games I'm planning to play I actually want to go and do um Animal Crossing so give me a hot second to fix the Fix the uh, Elgato. Un oh shit. There we go. Okay, that should be fine. <laughs> but yeah, for me, it's like Mario sixty four is a l is too clunky for its own good. Um. Let me try to let me try to form my thoughts coherently enough. Well, we actually. No, I don't want my actual time. I want it to be like 10, 10 30 in the morning. Also, I am time. I have been doing time traveling. Because it's like it's not fucking May. It's aged like milk in places. That's for sure. It really has. Okay, hold on. Give me a second here. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Ugh, my fucking desk got really fucked around right now. Hold on. No, don't fucking do that, please. Mission complete! Oh, there's the fucking menu. I was wondering where the fuck the menu from the little bluey, the bluey figures went. Uh, hold on. <laughs> it's aged like milk in places i'm sure take that take that thing about take that back about the milk i mean okay it hasn't aged gracefully it's i think it's like cheese it's aged like cheese aged cheese is fucking okay fine i don't have a good analogy for it in terms of like food aging to me, it's like Super Metroid, except Super Metroid is actually a lot better, in my opinion. Super Metroid has very clunky controls. However, I adapted to them, and I thought the game was still pretty damn good. It's not my favorite. Dread is my favorite controlling-wise, but Super Metroid is still decent. Type spam acquired mission success. Uh, cheese ages terribly... Chandler, how does it feel being to be in the morning as me now? I mean, I was actually awake at 10.40 in the morning. I was at work at 10.40 in the morning. Uh, my cafe gets built tomorrow and Animal Crossing tomorrow. I'm so hyped. 
Milk out in the sun lasts forever. It ages like queso in a fridge for too long. May 13th, it's your birthday. Oh, hey, happy honor, happy, very belated birthday, Rez. I didn't. This is literally where I had left off. Um, I had left off in Animal Crossing for like... Oh, let me change the game. Hold on. No, really, guys. I'm a, I'm a professional in like 700 quotation marks. Professional streamer. Do I even have the animal? I do have Animal Crossing. Does it say you're gonna update it or? Maybe if I hit accept and not cancel. Oh shit, hello. There we go. Hachapapapa. Uh, 1017th was mine. I'm old enough to drive now. I'm gonna go initial D on those fools every freaking morning when I go to school. Be the Floridian driving menace I was born to be! Oh my god, milk. Wow, I have this. Wow. Same time as me, you ended Animal Crossing on my birthday. Oh. Okay, no. I actually, I had. Let me try to think this through. Say this in a coherent flow of words that will not make me sound like an idiot. Impossible, I know. I had stopped playing Animal Crossing back in April. And I picked it back up a couple months ago from when I left off. I was doing time traveling and I had left off again on May 6th. And I have just now picked it back up because of the 2.0 update. And where I had left off, like time-wise, was the 13th. It's coincidental. Time Lords. Well, I time traveled to your birthday. By pure coincidence, I try and travel to your birthday. I'm gonna go ahead and change into something else. I actually have this t-shirt. Can I, I can go back to before I ghosted my entire society? I mean, I think you could. I just don't know how well they would take it. Still he birthday. Yeah. That shirt's adorable. I love it. I ac I actually need to get a larger shirt and a larger one of that shirt. Some Ebenezer Scrooge type shit. Oh, uh, where are the sweatpants? And I uh, yeah, I'll just wear what I continue to wear what I have. I've always loved that with the fucking, with the beard that I have, it makes me look like fucking Riker. Like that's my, my always my automatic thought is that I look like Riker. I was gonna go to, well I should probably see about the fossils and make some money. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. Also, hi, hello everyone, welcome to my shitty ass island. Please pardon the mess. I'm gonna change it to something a little more comfortable. Chandler then changed to his brand new fursuit. Listen, you want to joke about it? You want to fucking joke about it? You really want to fucking joke about it? Huh? Slapshot? We can fucking joke about it all you want. Joke about it all you want. Joke about it all you fucking want. I'm not a fur anymore, so I can joke about everyone without being a hypocrite. Listen, half the fun of being a furry is joking about your own fucking culture and being a hypocrite. I ain't seen no fursuit yet, but now I'm intrigued. <laughs> there he is. I ain't even a furry, I just like furry streamers. We will convert you, world. 
World Crusader. The culture on Twitter says this was too damn sexual, even with the minors. Part of why I left. Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel that. I've been a furry for like, what, 13 years at this point? I can, I can definitely understand the whole, like, the whole minor thing. Hey, Vivian, let's go talk to Vivian. She's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Prefer to keep my skin. That's totally your call. I mean, <laughs> I joking, he's like, one of us, one of us. But like, hey, I'm not gonna force you to be a furry. That's the last thing I'd ever wanna do. I'm a furry, not a Christian. <laughs> but I am milk, please tell me. Please don't tell me you actually are. Oh God. I'm not, fur I'm a furry, not a Christian. <laughs> Chandler 2021 not a super devout one though. Okay, that's totally fine. I I too have a Christian friend. I am ex-Christian I'm pan Okay, listen Milk you and I are on the same wavelength. We are both into fucking cut fucking kitchenware Oh shit a jingloid Good thing there's no priest here. Yeah, I wish Captain did more than one trip a day. Uh, yeah, but like at the same time, um, I spent all my miles on the new shit. Uh, I don't think one can really force me to be anything. I don't have the motivation to even eat cereal. <laughs> oh my god, Crusader. Yeah, I'm poor on miles now. Thanks, Tom. Thomas Nook. Leo, my baby! What is a kitten? So glad to hear your voice. Oh, look at him! Look at this- look at this lad! I love him! Yes, sir. Knives, pots, sporks, and plates. Oh my god, plates! I was just wondering if I'd run into you. I guess that means I was thinking about you. Lucky me. Oh, I love Leopold. He's he's my baby. Leopold is my baby. And if anyone tries to fucking like fucking attack him, I will kill you. Not gonna lie, it's a bit too far for the joke. Listen, okay. As someone who has been who has identified as pansexual for quite some time, I cannot begin to tell you how many times I've heard the. Oh, so you're into fucking, like, you know, uh, cast iron? Or you're, like, copper? And I'm just like... You think you're funny? You think you're really fucking funny, huh? I'm not Christian, but me and my mom keep a Bible in the house for reasons. Oh, God. Just to keep back the demons. But yeah, I love me some crab shell crackers. <laughs> When I said too far, I'm at the morning part. As a cis person, I guess I'm part of the Confederacy of Independent Systems. <laughs> I was fine with the kitchen joke. Listen, for me, it's more of just like, it's not like, oh, that's really unfunny and I feel offend I'm offended by this. It's more just like, a check septica in a Garfield costume. No, I have rounded ears. I don't have cat ears. If anything, I'm gonna be Chester Cheetah. If I put on the if I put on the triangle ears, I'm gonna be Chester Cheetah. Also, where are the anteaters? I don't. I had an anteater for like a short period of time, and then I got rid of him. Uh, okay. Listen, if we're gonna be if we're gonna feel sorry for any cereal mascot, I'm gonna feel sorry for Chip the Wolf. Like. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Bitch, no, I'm not going to fucking Walmart at 11 at night. 
Tough shit. You can get up early and go yourself. Don't fucking pout at me. You skin Tony, you bitch. Okay, Chip the Wolf is the mascot for uh, Cookie Crisp. That's that's really it. Oh god, Johan, he killed your fellow anteaters. I feel no mercy for Captain Crunch. So a stolen valor. Unsubbed, unfollowed, and reported. Like I said, I, I left because of lewd stuff. Listen, it's become so ingrained in the culture to me that it's just something I'm used to. Like I said, I've been a furry for 13 years. I am so used to pretty much anything that could go wrong. Like, hmm, we don't get, we don't get half the cereal, same cereal mascots in the UK. That's fair. Like, I dare not speak its name for fear of it being Voldemort. But the most recent furry debacle on Twitter involving food, that's the most I'll say. Um, well, food and furries, I should say, because they kind of need to go hand in hand. Uh, when I when that was explained to me what happened, I'm just like, oh, I thought it would be a lot worse. Like I'm I'm used to just, yeah. As a human teen, the internet is such a disgusting place, a beautiful disgusting place. The unholy Italian dish. I'm tired of being a furry. I'm tired of being a furry in game for the time being. There are times in real life where I'm tired of being a furry, and I'm just like, no, I like being a furry. Furries are cool. For the, for the most part. I mean, they're not always great. Like, I'm not gonna fucking lie through my teeth and say, yeah, furries are great. Don't worry about it, guys. Furries are awesome. There's nothing wrong with furries. It's more just like, you know, if you know anything about the internet, anything about the internet, you'll know you'll know that furries can have a tendency to be really bad if you just I, I guess if you just avoid it as best as you can then eh furry propaganda like okay i'm not i'm not saying that furries are good at all like furries are degenerates but then again so are weebs i think weebs can be worse so are those stupid simps on like for for like e-girls and twitch streamers and shit like that I for you. oh my god shut up uh as a human i love my furry brethren <gasps> oh my god milo! milo oh my god milo! oh my god melba hi oh my god this is so unexpected holy shit Holy crap. Spook scared me with that holler. <laughs> Selling's not for me. You literally got here just in time for me to be talking shit about furries. Oh my god. We were talking about furries and furry culture and like... And furry furry furries. Perfect timing. How damn furry they are. Fucking furries, man. furries man uh now i don't know what i want to put on what i want to wear uh oh yeah i was by i was like you're in my stream what are you talking about <laughs> sorry i'm 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 dumb did you know that furries are a furry <laughs> me tells a friend to go to e621 my friend why me if i tell you why it won't happen I'm gonna actually put back- no, fuck it, I'm gonna go queer. Fuck you, I'm gonna be queer. So this is where everyone was? Honestly, I love furries and their art, but I can understand why my mom ain't a fan of them. See, I'm terrified to re inform my parents about what furries are because of the shit that went down earlier in my life. Your father knows I'm a furry because he follows me on Instagram. That's fair. I think I capped at three to four viewers today. It was lame, but webbed was fun. Oh, oh I would love to play webbed. It's, it looks absolutely adorable. What is webbed? You play as a tiny spider. Oh my god. And you fight off giant birds. Amazing. 
It's it looks adorable. Fuck it, we're gonna get our pride out. Fuck the furry pride, we're gonna get our gay pride out. We're gonna be queer and gay and love it. Sorry to enjoy my love, feel bad for not joining. Hopefully to catch you next it's so damn cute, dude. We rescued a bunch of baby ants and built an ant mech. Oh, <laughs> having a gay old time. You know it, Pat. You fucking know it. We're either queer or. Let me take off the fucking paws. Those are kind of cute. Furries, gays, tomato, tomato. Then I just spent like 10 to 15 minutes climbing trees and making webs just because I could. Oh, it's neither queer nor there. Black pimples curse you, biology. Did see your pre. What are you talking about, Rez? Hold up. Listen, Rez, we both stand and despise E6. E6 is a terrible, wonderful place. Why do I wear fucking. my fucking witch boots? No, I'm not going to do that. That's a little much. The pink... Use the yellow ones. Use the yellow ones? Yeah. Or the blue. I like the blue ones. Yeah, do the blue. Oh, uh, so hello, chat. Say hi to Milo. Hello, Milo. I'm going to wear the acorn pot chat because we got Milo in chat. Whoa. Your, socks and sh your shoes and socks match the flag. It's like I tried to coordinate it or something. My outfits at Animal Crossing are more coordinated than my outfits in real life. Hi, Pat. I see you in chat. Fucking yay. Flag supremacy? I don't know if I'm breaking the law by being underage and being here, but I am if it, I mean... It's not? You, I mean, your stream's not... not. I mean, it says it's re recommended for, like, quote-unquote mature audiences. It's only because I say fucks and shits a lot. I'd say as long as you're 16 plus, you're good. Also, yeah. hi, Bio, and hi, Jojo. I mean, in all honesty, it would be different if it was, like, if this was, like, a Pornhub live thing, and it's just, like, I'm, like, 16. Should I be here? No. But no, this is Twitch. I'm mature. Eat rusted nails for breakfast. I know Twitch has rules for people, for people's age, even without the 18 plus. But I don't know what the rule is. I started watching this month. Otherwise, I'd be 15. Oh God, to be 15 again. I don't want to think about being fucking 15 again, man. That's a scary time of my life. <laughs> if I was 15, you'd be 21. <laughs> 21. I really don't want to think about being 15, like myself. Like, I don't want to be 15, because, like, ugh. Delicious tetanus. I'm almost 15. Don't scare me! I mean, 15 was not the worst year of my life. I think that was, like, 23. <laughs> Oh my god, shut up. Gotta move a little after sitting for five hours. I feel that. Get back to you on that one later. Having two of my birthdays coincide with lockdowns has made me feel less old than I am. Listen. Look, I didn't actually get to experience like a like a lockdown slash quarantine situation until like a couple months ago when my job sent us home. <laughs> oh. Everything below the age of 18 is better kept as a memory for me. I feel that. Quarantine kind of broke me. I mean... Quarantine made me up my antidepressants, so there's that one for you. <laughs> and see, over here, I'm just like, quarantine li literally did not affect me. 
Hi, Bentley. Please don't choose violence, my child. He's probably going to choose. I mean, knowing him, he's going to choose violence. Surprising. What you doing, Mac? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> and that that is that is not what I was expecting. <laughs> That's been his fucking <laughs> phrase for for eons at this point. Is your turn? Yes, it is. The quarantine was great for me. I love moving and leaving all my friends behind and moving. Oh no. Oh no, not Wesley. Let's not talk about Wesley. But I wasn't sure I guess the last one next time we hang out, goalie. Of course, Max says that. Of it's so suiting for him. Like, like, Max a jock. Of course, he needs to say fucking get dunked on. <laughs> hey, Phoebe. Huh? I said Phoebe. Phoebe. I made Phoebe's catchphrase, BIATCH! Because I love that game, let's do stuff like that. <laughs> I'm fired up! You should swing by sometime, I'm working on a new Bavarian cream recipe. She was actually... Quarantine was meant nothing for me, I was just already focusing... on the Hikikomori route. Oh god! Ha, I know what that means. Uh, okay. Sorry, my brain, like, has gone in a thousand directions right now. For me, with the, the quarantine, quote-unquote, like, the United States has been really stupid. Like, no, I didn't. Because you and I previously, before my current job, were working front line, front line in, in person with people. So, I we never got quarantined. I still am. Yeah. Now I'm living in the apartment 25-8s. Yeah. <laughs> Quarantine is kind of a blessing in disguise, don't you think? If it wasn't for COVID, most of us wouldn't be here. I mean, as an American, I confirm that we are all stupid. Virtual learning is such a transition transitionary stage in my life. I was so lonely. And my executive dysfunction did not help, but I've grown a lot. I mean, there have been a lot of good and bad things to come out of COVID. Most of the bad being deaths and like incompetence, but I don't want to go into details of incompetence. And I would hope that I, I would, I would like to ask nicely for all of you to not get into that as well, because that's kind of, that's kind of pushing things. Um, but for me, at least for us, we never had like quarantine. The most that we ever released, the most I stayed at home was a month. I was out of work for a month because it was literally right when the shit hit the fan in fe like last February. And I was just like, well, what's going to happen? What's going on? And it's like after I think March was over and April kicked in, I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to go back to work. And I got a part time job. And then I got another part time job. And then another part-time job. And now I'm full-time. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I'm sorry for all who went through depression, anxiety, through quarantine, and all the struggles they went through. I am oh, too. Oh, man. I, I've got to tell you. I've got to tell you. I'm I'm doing the I'm doing the fancy smancy quarantine life right now. And my executive dysfunction and depression have been at an all-time high. It's fucking great. I take a shower maybe once every four days because I literally can't motivate myself to do 
do it sooner. What? Yeah, there's a time and a place to inform me of your <laughs> ill body care. And this was neither. <laughs> I took a shower today. I know, I saw the towel. <laughs> I'm working I'm working on things. Look, I'm gonna go to therapy soon. Yeah. I'm gonna start that. I'm gonna start that shit. As long as I don't have to take time off work. You've like really thrown me off now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like <laughs> Congratulations, you've officially <laughs> just you've like broken me right now. There's just no, it's ketchup fried. It's like what the fuck is it? It's not spaghetti. Hold on. I hope it's spaghetti. It's not spaghetti. Hold I on. Spaghetti. I bought it. I bought it earlier. It's not spaghetti. It's ketchup something. Ketchup fried rice. Sounds disgusting. It really does. Actually, no. Ketchup has to be fair, ketchup has a good salt content. So if you wanted, if you wanted, if you wanted like a fried rice, but don't like the taste of soy sauce, then ketchup would probably be a good substitute because you're still getting that salt. Fair enough. Team and I, would, I probably would try it. Timmy and Tommy are in the shop, right? But when you go to a friend's island, they're at your friend's island shop too. What does this mean? Isabel's there. Tom's there. You know, everybody's there. Cloning, it's just a theory. I mean, it's a, it's a video game. Clatteroid. Yes, I am. This area has been so cluttered for so long, and now it's just empty, and I feel de I feel I feel depressed because I don't know what to do. We're literally time lords. Oh God damn it! <laughs> no. Okay, listen. <laughs> No, okay, listen. It was just a stern fatherly disapproval kind of look that he gave me it, of concern. It really, it really was. It's just like, are you absolutely fucking serious? Oh my god, Crusader. You fucking degenerate. I think Bentley's having a gay old time. Hi, Stitches. No, he can't have a gay old time. He's homophobic. He really is. <laughs> he attacks our goddamn flags. He has attacked our the flags that we've hung on the wall. He has attacked the flags that we have by our desks. Like the little, like, little hand flags. He attacks the ones over the window. Yeah. Like, he has attacked... Oh, please tell me I have one of them. I do not, actually. Hold up. No, there we go. Yeah, here I am, just representing the fuck out of my- being prideful as fuck. As Americans, we are all like this. Your hand flag is wrong. The yellow is supposed to be in the middle, not the blue. Oh god. <laughs> Listen. Listen- You, you gotta- <laughs> Shut your goddamn mouth. Shut the fuck up. Shut your actual fucking mouth. <laughs> shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> oh my god, just please shut up. I love you. <laughs> Children, please. Chungungo already feels stupid. Please don't make Chungungo feel dumber. <laughs> yeah, you should turn on symmetry. <laughs> you should turn on a fucking shower more than once a week. <laughs> I do. Some weeks I get two. <laughs> you should do it. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to talk. I don't want to get into this on stream. Like, please, actually. I really don't want to get on this on stream. We don't have to. I just want to hang out with you. I never get to hang out with you when you're in stream. You never hang out with me at all because you fucking get in your own zone. You do the same thing. Not as often because I'm fuck. <laughs> Shut up. Because I'm fucking working. Oh 
Chandler, tell my tuxedo twin to stop being mean to me. Stop being mean. JoJo's orders. Okay. No. I can make cricket sounds with my mouth. That's amazing. Tuxedo twin. Uh, JoJo and Spook's personas are both tuxedo cats. Yeah, so we're, tu we're tuxedo twins. Oh god damn it, I have to fix it on both sides. Fuck off this bullshit. Yeah, at least you have symmetry turned on. <laughs> Jojo is also an anteater. Jojo has two zones. Which is a tuxedo cat and anteater. I've got like seven, so. I mean, I have a lot of theoretical personas or characters. What? I've got... I've got Spook. I've got Pete. I've got Shrimp. Miles. Miles. That's four. Hold on. I'm opening up my toy house. You have your cowgirl. You have your otter girl. Hold on. Uh, hold on. There are... Uh, hold on a second. Make the classical sound teacher ask a question and make the sound. It's hilarious. I have like eight. Two sonas for now. I have none. Uh, the duality of man. Wanna make a St. Bernard sona? Aw. We gotta work on it later. Cricket sounds are great are a great tool. So I've got I've got Spook, I've got Carnegie, who's an axolotl. I forgot. I didn't even know about Carnegie. Everly, who's my otter, Fleur, who's a dog, Marley, then Pete, Roxas, Shrimp, Stella, and Zion. So that's how many? Yeah, Miles was adopted. Well, most of my characters have been adopted, besides Spook and Pete. See, I'm the exact opposite. I may not have a lot of creativity, but at least I have the creativity to make my own personas. Well, if we want to pull out my iPad, I could probably count off some more that I've created myself. Like... The deer boy. Oh, the dummy thick deer boy? Yeah, my dummy Oh, I forgot deer. about him. Uh, I totally forgot about him. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, world, have a good or Crusader, have a good night, man. Bye, Crusader. Got my bear guy, that's about it. Wolf, gator, eagle, lion, polar bear, tiger. Praying mantis and rabbit. Holy shit. Oh, I've got the shark girl that I'm working on. So that's what, 13? So 13 plus my other cow girl. That makes 14. Then Aspen is the deer mix. 14. Yeah, 15. Jesus Christ. And yeah, don't leave it there. Don't leave it there. You're going to forget about it. I have a 16th one that I'm working on getting. Fucking hell. And like the most I have is like five. Her name her name is Snail. Wow, what a fantastic name. I mean I've got one I've got a Sona name. Or I've got a character. <laughs> yeah, you really do. So <laughs> President Nook told me to, that you're working at Miss Lottie's place, Chandler. Exciting. Oh my god. So Chandler, you got anything to tell me? I want I want to go to work. Bitch, it's it's Friday night. I don't want to go back to work. My back itches. That's rough, buddy. I want to go to Harv's Island. Yep, yep, let's go.
I can't really save. It automatically saves. I appreciate the save, but like it's it automatically saves. It's all good. That bastard Red has two faces for me on his first day at Harv's. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, speaking of... Right. Oh, actually, no, he's the last one I'm going to add. No, actually, I think that'd be Katrina. Otters are water cats. You can't change my mind. Okay, well, if you want me to scratch your back, you better fucking turn around. Where? If you didn't take a shower once a goddamn week, you would be so fucking itchy. You're gonna have to give me a lot louder things because I can't hear you through fucking headphones. See right where this is here? Well, it looks like a hive. It looked, it just isn't, I don't think. I thought I'd add a, I thought I added red, but red's literally gonna be here. We have leaf though. See, I started with red. <laughs> I started with Reese and Cyrus because they were the two that have been the most infrequent. Like they are literally here a month out of the year. The rest of them, except for except for Tortimer and Katrina, are never here or always on your island. <laughs> Leaf is like the embodiment of Nova, except as a vendor in Animal Crossing. They're both incredibly sweet beans. I came up with Riley, who was originally a fox, and when I was like, I really want a bug Sona. Fuck it, Riley's a mantis now. That's, that's me on a real level. I've thought about completely eating Spook's cat character and making me but I've just paid like 1200 for a fur suit, so I'm not gonna do that. Like the, like, spook as a different species. I was literally just about to fucking go. Are you really just gonna completely yeet your main Sona after you bought a partial for them? No, 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 just like, rebrand as a different character. Then I'm like, well, I've got, I've got the suit, so I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, I would certainly hope that you wouldn't do that because that would be a waste of twelve hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I sure hope you don't. <sighs> Can you like leave? You're making me have an aneurysm. There's only so much of your, like, of your flippant nature that I can handle. Oh. My, yeah, my island is Autopia. It's, it's, it was, like, my initial idea. Also, I am sorry for being a dasshole. Just in general. Love me because I'm an act because I'm an asshole. We would all be as happy as the leaves, little plants, if we give a little greener. Oh. I had literally just noticed the other day, I think yesterday, that Harv's eyes are kind of weird looking. And that his he actually has a mustache, it's not a marking on his muzzle. Yeah. 
Take so your time, see what's got, see what's got to offer, and enjoy yourself. I love that everyone has a little shop here. It's just adorable. Harv's a funky fellow. He really is. I mean, I think I'd just kind of forgotten that it actually is a mustache. It's literally shaped like one. Well, you know, o fucking otters and foxes, like a lot of otter and fox sonas have like markings that look like a mustache, but that doesn't mean that they have one. Let's talk weeds. 20 bells a clump, that's nice. The shops are so cute, but they will bankrupt me. That works. Take my weeds. What's this weeding service you were talking about? I've been buying weeds from folks up until now, but pulling them in the first place can be pretty tiring work. Yeah, especially if you're like, abandon your island for four months. Or just start out. It can be a real pain. I'm so glad you agree. That's why I've started a weeding service. What I do is I go and pick up all the weeds on the island. Aww. But collecting them's tiring work, so the cost of the service is a bit on the high side. But when you consider that it'll be cleaning up your island in one fell swoop, it'll really it's really worth the cost. Plus every weed I go I pull goes right into the recycling box, so you can do whatever you want with them. After agreeing to my service, your island will have zero weeds by the next day, guaranteed. Your island doesn't seem all that full of weeds yet. I recommend waiting until there's more work for me. But if they get out of control, I'll pull them up for a hundred thousand bells for one time. So pay me a visit then. 100k, never mind. Well, he did say it was pricey. I was expecting it to be that much. Well, show me your stock. In addition to flower seeds and shrubs, I've started selling produce starts! Similar to pumpkins, your produce starts will grow even if you leave them alone. But if you want a big happy harvest, try watering them daily. These are all the lovely little seeds and starts I have in stock today! <gasps> Sugar cane! Leaf is a he. Leaf's a boy. He's a sweet boy. I would like to buy... 10 of them. I really need to start doing turnip selling again. I'm gonna buy five more. It's all good. I still don't know. I love how Neve least knows. Looks like an American plug socket. Oh. See, my problem with, if any of them, with their pronouns is Sahara, because I don't know if Sahara is a guy or a girl, and it's like. I've always seen Sahara as male, because it, well, and then like, I guess I think Sahara is female, but like, the eyelashes just throw me off because they're a camel, and you know it keeps the sand out of their eyes. I mean, can canonically, all of the you say this. I mean, so do the so do your characters for the most part. Kicks! Welcome, chum. I have a look. No rush, no rush at all. I love, I love Kicks so much. Kicks is an absolute baby, and I love him. Fun fact, Sahara and Gracie are female in the English localization, but on only because they're both male. Kicks is the best, and welcome back, Milo. Kicks is a baby. I love him. I want to give him a giant hug. Like, no joke. If I want to give any of the villagers a hug or any of the NPCs, Kix is like top five. Nothing standing out, not a problem. Come and visit by anytime, eh? I want to get a new hairstyle. Yes, yes. I love Harriet too. She's really cute. Kix is amazing. I can't believe in new I can't believe in New Leaf. I thought he was Australian, even though he clearly a cockney shoe shine. I mean, it's not terrible. Sue this barber. Listen, yesterday she gave me a fucking bowl cut. 
And I'm just like, oh, great, thanks. I mean, this one isn't terrible. I think it's kind of cute, but it's like the bowl cut was the worst. You could look like it'd be an ABBA. Oh my God. Hey, Sahara, are you vibing? Oh, these are literally the same. Do they not update? Bells do not ring for the wares today. Yeah, they really don't. I mean, I did do something really ominous and creepy with Harv's, like, the photo the photopia. The pinnacle of human style, the bowl cut. How do you access a new cons? Um, Spook has proven this. Your island has to be three stars in order for it to actually... Um, in order for you to actually get to any of this stuff. I'm sorry. If you want to come to my islands and get to, to, like, use any of it, you're more than welcome to. Like, for both of you. If either of you want to come to my island and do any of this shit, you're more than welcome to. Does it talk about it in announcements? I, yeah, I believe so. When you go and visit Harv's Island, um... No, okay. Isabel talks about the ordinances in her day in her morning announcement and also brings up Cap'n's boat tour. Um Harv sends you a, le a letter. Oh, Harv sends you a letter. Okay. Um, but you can only do that once you've got 3 stars. I just hit 3 stars on my island after grinding for it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to get a 3-star island in order for just any of it to happen. A bunch of flowers. <laughs> Hey, babe. Milo says you're a cutie. No! <laughs> I disagree. I love how, like, just the general consensus of, like, furries is just like, no, you can't say that I'm cute. I'm the only one that says it. I'm the only one that's allowed to say that you're cute. And me, I'm just like, oh, thanks. Personally, this has been, like, one of my favorites. Like, one of my favorite. This one's been one of my favorites for, like, just the male-oriented hairstyles, and then this one's been my favorite in general. Have you gotten the mullet haircut yet? No, I got the bowl cut yesterday. I need to get the mullet. Yeah, I literally fucking... Like, Harriet gave me this shit, and I'm just like, Oh, great, I look like Coconut Head. Like, we had a bowl cut before, I think. I mean, not exactly like a bowl cut. <laughs> no, it's not the Beatles cut. No. No. Don't do the boys like that. Don't you? No. Pen and Discord calls will be lurking. All right, man. I thank you. Oh, my me Ringo Starr. You like my paintings. Hey, Kiro. The rules don't apply to me. I get... Yeah, okay, so leaving that single mirror in the darkened room is like the most ominous fucking thing ever. Oh, shit. Is 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 the side room still set up for the, pic the, the picture I did yesterday? Yeah, you just literally fucking walk into the room and it's just the single, just the single tall mirror sitting in the middle of the fucking room. It is. Hey guys, welcome back to Bench County. Thank you, Kiro. Are you talking about like my my villager? Or are you talking about my 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 model? The villager. Gotcha. Yeah, I figured I'd just go queer and pride today. Like my outfits like change like all the fucking time. Can I get to my wand from here? No, I can't get to any of my tools. Campfire inside your house. Where's the ventilation? 
Listen, we're not going to talk about how much money I have right now. The big bucks. Grab some hot cocoa and a blanket. Pull up a sip by the fire. That's actually a really good idea. Um, should I get Red or Katrina here first? Or next? Because they're the only two that are left. I'm not just asking chat. Huh? No. I always say red because paintings are annoying. That's fair. What is good? She's a fortune teller. I don't know what exactly she does, but she's one of the newer NPCs. Oh my god, Bentley. Oh my fucking god, I'm gonna actually kill you. I can't remember if she does fortunes from New Leaf, but I can't remember at all what the fortunes do. I don't know what they do at all. The New Horizons is like the only Animal Crossing I've played, so... I'll do Katrina, fuck it. I think Katrina made a salon... Makes a salon hairstyle to your villager. No, that's... that's Harriet. Predict what I. Yo, what the hell? Hold on a second. Bet, stop it. Hold on a second. <laughs> I'll, okay, I'll allow that. Wait, no, I didn't want to. Whatever. That'll be fine, I, I guess. Predict what items are coming or something. Bentley, my sweet butterscotch pudding bean. That's literally how we are with him. Like, it really is how we are with him. Because of the phrase, I'm going to kill you. I just love the vibe. I love the vibe of Harv's Island. This whole, the whole thing. It's just really cute. Oh, that's Leaf's cart. Oh, that's super cute. And they're super cute. I love these two. They're precious. Usually flag for the dumbest things. I mean, I feel that. I'm ready to go home. I need to do my daily things. Hold on. Uh, I've gone to Harv's Island. I haven't seen Brewster yet. Uh, who is a visitor today? Excuse me, pardon me. The whole area is like a carnival campers camp. Carnival campers camp park. It really is. Okay, I want to show. Actually, hey guys, look, it's Animal Crossing. Anyway. God damn it. See, you might not have laughed. Because the joke wasn't funny, but, you know. I, I'm i going to bet it's Gulliver. Gulliver was just here not that long ago. Flick and CJ were both here. I'm annoyed because I did laugh. Red's not here, obviously. 
I was in mod stream. I typed up that guy looks like the kind of guy who thinks he can look at girl. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was fucking dumb. Like, that was really fucking stupid. Like, I don't know if that was, like, an automatic Twitch thing, or if it was just, like, someone had actually added that kind of phrase. But, like, it was just really stupid. It's just, like... Okay... It's like, are we not allowed to look at anyone now? Oh, God. My brain wants to be, like... Here, let me just pull out a soapbox and just start fucking ranting about something. But I'm choosing to refrain from it because I'd like to not just pollute the stream with Chandler's stupid mentality. In terms of shit like that, I'd rather have... I'd rather give me my spicy takes on why I think Sonic Adventure 2's soundtrack is shit, even though it slaps, rather than be like, yeah, I really hate, like, the gender inequality. What are you doing, my son? No, do not look up at that shelf. I swear to God. Leave the calendar alone. No. You can't jump from there, you idiot. I'm sorry I knocked you over. I'm sorry. Oh, for fuck's sake. How do I, um, hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. How do I flag? How do I flag phrases? Oh, that's Nightbot's job. Hold on. Nightbot. Yes, my master. I need you to take care of something, sweetie. What crimes must I commit today in your name, master? I need you... Thank you, Bentley. I really actually want to fucking hit you. Could you please get off of my computer? Like, could you actually get off of my computer? My sweet summer child. Just, no. Stop. 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 Thank you. I can't, because then Spook will be angry at me. <sighs> I think- I think Bio meant to say, like, another one. Like a fucking another one. Hold on. Where is... Shit, hold on. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just frustrated. Like, Bentley has been pretty good for about a week of not hopping on my computer. And now Bentley's just like, Oh yeah, I forgot about the computer that I could hop on. Spam protection. There we go. Blacklisted words slash phrases. There we go. Uh. 
Let me see this clip real quick. I know what it is, though. I know exactly what this clip is. Hey guys, look, it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just love the dead silence. Like, my dead silence is just fucking hilarious. I was like, you can hear the crickets. Is there a way that I can... Hold on, let me see. Is there a way that I can... Can we just throw you into the sea for that? I mean, that's what the fucking clip says. Uh, hold on a second. How do I look at... Um... There's not a way that I can look at, um... Okay. Yeah, I like that. Let me look at that. Fucking Nightbot, you're not doing your job. I literally have this entire phrase copied verbatim into Nightbot, and it's just like, now nah, this checks out. It's not, gonna work if it's, you it's not me, it's fucking bots that say it. I've had two bots so far that go, want to become famous? Buy followers and viewers at bigfollowsspace.com. And that is literally the co the message that is copied verbatim from the deleted message into Nightbot. Say just fuck it, yeah. Like Nightbot's not doing its job sometimes. It's like, bro, I have I I now have this phrase typed twice into it, and it's still just like, no, nah, this checks out. Anyway, I was gonna show off. Can you please, my child? Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Bitch! I'd be glad that wasn't fucking full. What are you doing? Why are you doing these things? Please don't. Please stop. Bentley. No, he didn't spill any water. He knocked over an empty cup. Bentley. Bentley. My sweet summer child, I don't trust you walking behind my fucking computer like that. Please just do something. Don't just stand there. No, don't do that. Hopped in the fucking chair. Okay, that's as far back as I can push my computer to the wall. Random bot be like, do you want to build a famous? And see, the funny thing is, is that I really hate, I really hate that the fucking bots don't trigger night they don't trigger nightbot because nightbot has the best responses for shit oh what the hell like, 
there's something in my fucking hand. Hold on. Ugh. Chandler is distracted by things. The stream. You know, what else is fucking new? Be gone, you criminal scrub. It's better than that, honestly. What the hell? Okay, what the fuck? Is there something on my desk or is it something in my hand? Nightbot when encountering Twitch. Would Nightbot when encountering bot. Eh, you pass. Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. Who's my visitor? Bentley. Like, legitimately, why do you do this? just Peggy. Who the fuck is on my island today? Do I have a camper? No, that's just a campsite. It doesn't show that I have anybody that's visiting. No, I don't have anyone visiting. At least here. I probably have Gullivar. I haven't checked all the beaches yet. back from the depths of hell. Who the fuck is visiting? Like, it would probably help if I didn't have all the flowers cluttering my beach, but, like, I don't really want to have them anywhere else right now. Not but Nightbot to be like be like to regular viewers. Are you a VIP? No, you're worthless here. Nightbot's not that mean. It's just that Nightbot's very negligent. Weird. I don't have anybody on my beach. I don't have anybody anywhere today. I could always visit Raymond. Alright, babe. I love you. Oh, what you doing, Raymond? <laughs> and another episode of The Raymond Show. No, honey. It's called Everybody Loves Raymond. Get it right. What you doing? A dark tulip crown. I think I know how to make that. Yep, yep. I've known how to do that for a long time, actually. I might give it to Milo or something, if he doesn't know how to make it. Okay, bye. No, he's so cute. See, Pat, I think I'd like to- I think I want to just, like, you're not- you're not at the bathtub, this is the beach. Okay, fuck it. I want to show off some of these outfits, because I love them. Some of them- most of these are, like, base items, like, base game items, except for a couple. I had forgotten to add the beanie back for this one. 
So yeah, we've got Emmett from the first from the Lego movies. We've got Todd from Bojack. We've got the fucking Spanish Inquisition. We've got Elton John. Which I've had the, I've had the Elton John one for the longest time because it just it it just works so well and I love it so goddamn much. Like I really do. I just love it. It's it's just adorable. This is it's guy it's exactly the outfit. It really is. I love it. Like the glasses might be slightly off, but they're like the best Elton John glasses I think you could ever find. Is she daydreaming about being at the beach while she's at the fucking beach? And then I just have a little cute pom pom purin outfit. Pom pom purin outfit that I made because I just think the coat's really cute. I'm not the bathtub guy. I don't. What? The I'm at the bathtub guy. Who is that? And then I've got Frisk. And then I've got fucking Weeab Weeaboo Degeneracy. Fucking Oran High School Host Club member. Bentley, do not choose violence, please. And then this is my best attempt at making. Um. Fucking. Um. I'm not at the beach, this is a bathtub. Oh! Oh, I know what you're talking about now. Thank you guys. I'm dense as fuck. And I've also been up since 4 a.m. And it's now almost midnight. Um, I took a three hour nap though. Uh, that helped a little bit. But yeah, this was my best attempt at trying to make the, uh, the security guards from Half-Life. I still think my favorite out of them will always be the Ellen John one. Like it just, it just, it just, it's just, it's just, it's just so simple, but it just looks so perfect. And then I go back to my gay shit. Oh, oh we're not gonna talk about this. It's a donation box. It's one of the newer things that you can learn how to make, but I still don't know how it works. Well, I know how it works. It's just I haven't got it to work properly yet. Let me see if there's anything else I can learn with what I have. I skipped yesterday. Uh, Nook Miles, yeah. I bought the recipe for the box, but haven't made one yet. Uh, I can't afford to get any of the new shit because I don't have the money. Crosswalk signal, drink machine, flower bench, or flower bed, excuse me, public bench. I want more of these. I want like a hundred of them. And that one's cute, too. Wait! Fuck it. I don't have enough miles for that. Shit. Damn it. I need to do more miles. Oh. Go see Brewster. Visit the Rooster for a coffee break. You want a midnight snack, Chandler? No thanks, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> this motherfucker, Chandler, I'm the snack. Oh my god. No, spooks the whole fucking meal. What are you talking about? Oh, shit. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Nintendo, you are nice sometimes. Okay, so I I did a, I did a exploit. Or a glitch? It was a glitch. Give me a hot second. I gotta get to where it was. Okay, so you can't build stuff on the fourth level because the mountain's too high. Um, I had this set up 
because I used a, a, I used a glitch. And I set a solar panel and the lunar lander on here. And I came by here, I think yesterday, and they were gone. And I'm just like, no. Like, I thought they were just deleted. And then it turns out they're just in the fucking lost and found. I'm just like, oh, thank God. Like, that really scared the shit out of me. What moon landing? <laughs> oh, God. I think I'm going to wind things down for the night, guys. Um, I probably won't stream again until Sunday. Um, but, um, I'm definitely going to, it's definitely going to be something I'm looking forward to. Uh, it's going to be another Nintendo 64 game, but it's going to be one that I actually know I will like. No, that's not how you play the game. Um, I don't want to say anything more about what the game is because I want it to be a surprise. Um, all I will say is that, um, if you know Milo and you know Matt or Mott, um, you'll know that it's a game that they both absolutely love. And that's it. No, it's not Star Fox. I actually, I've never played the original Star Fox, the, the one on the SNES. See, I'm not going to confirm or deny anything, and I know that's like a massive giveaway, but like, you know, I'm just looking forward to playing it because it's, it's been a while and I've never, I've not, I never really gave it the proper time that it deserves. Bentley, please. I saw you walk over there. Please don't actually do that. Please. Well, I'm not gone just yet. I'm going to plant my sugar cane. Do not sit down. Can I help you, sir? Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? What is your obsession with my desk? See you on Monday morning. Yeah. For you, it'll be Monday morning. For you, it'll be Monday morning. Yeah, I'm not fully done. Uh, I was gonna plant my sugar cane and then I'm gonna stop for the night. But yeah, I will not be back until Sunday. That like, please. Why? Why? This idiot, this absolute fucking idiot, likes to, sh like, he plays too rough with the, the little crinkly balls that we have for him, and he winds up yeeting them under the door to the hot water room, the hot water heater room, which is in the kitchen. So, like, 
we'll get them out like every other day or like maybe a couple like every three or four days or so and there's like 10 of them it's like how the fuck do you manage to play that roughly in not even a week's time like it's it's so fucking frustrating Uh, does anyone have a recommendation to guide this- to guide a raid or anything? I don't know if anyone's streaming right now. I think everyone's gone to sleep or is kind of clocked out for the night. I got nothing. That's- that's fine. I figured I'd at least ask if anyone had anyone that wanted to wanted to guide the raid to. I'm pretty sure I did five or five long. There's whiskey, but he's way too big a streamer. That's fair. I did. Yeah. Okay. Good. God damn it. I have a friend. Who's the friend? I have this friend. He's really cute. And he has his persona as an otter. His name's Chandler. And maybe you could raid him. <laughs> he has a cow's- Oh! Who is it? Insane Burrito. Oh, okay. The Poor Hobbyist. That name seems familiar. I know. Or if I want to get the other lamp. I probably don't have enough to redeem to get it, though. Hold on. Let me see about... Why am I not following Insane Burrito? Like, why am I not following them? Oh, Raticoon's streaming. Yeah, why the fuck have I not followed Insane Burrito? You guys want to go raid Insane? Because I'm down for that. Let's go, lesbians. You're the streamer. I'm just asking you guys. Because I'm totally fine passing you guys off to Insane. I've not watched his stuff, but I, I trust him enough. I... Oh fuck, if I could type. It is ins yeah, Insane Burrito, yeah. Not sure about the lesbians part. Listen. Even if you're even if you're male, you can still be a lesbian if you love what if you love ladies, you can be a lesbian. Oh, it's taken every fiber in my my being to not hit the home button and just go back to the main menu. Are you welcome, guys? Um, I will definitely be back on Sunday with uh, with more stuff for November. It's a shame I didn't do anything new with Animal Crossing, but that would be the Happy Home Island thing. Which would be a lot. That'd be a lot for a Friday night, especially for this half, like this late in the evening. I'll just take it as I'm some lost idiot ended up here for no reason. Ah, uh, but yeah, go send, go send uh, burrito some love. Um, thanks for the vibes and a good evening. Oh, it's no problem. Thank you guys for being here. I always appreciate you guys coming by. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna go to bed. I'm probably not gonna go to bed just yet. Um. But I will definitely, I'm, I'm a lot better. I'm like, I'm pretty calm right now, but like, I probably won't go to bed for another, a few more hours. Um, gonna do some stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna go and pass you off to the, the trusting arms of Insane Burrito. Uh, oh yeah, if you get, okay. So yeah, have a good night guys. Have fun with Burrito. Later.